Hi everyone, welcome to session two of Let's Stream Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Um, yeah, last session was was good. I enjoyed it. Um, garnered a lot of interest, so thank you for that. And there's plenty of you here for this. So once again, thank you for joining me live on Twitch and on the YouTubes. Appreciate it. Um. And yeah, let's uh, let's let's dig in there, shall we? Let's dig in there and see how we get on. Now, I did launch it earlier, so it should be fine. Should be should is a you know a a big word though. There we go. There we go. Lovely. It's legendary the remaster. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Canvas Niffles for buying this, me this 10 years ago. It's in the original version, and then I I guess the legendary version as well is gone. We're going to restart this. And now. Yeah, restart, resume. Uh, and now. Um, oh, there we go, it's back, okay. This last time I believe I said, uh, I don't know where I got this game from. Come on, what are you doing? And then someone came in chat and be like, Oh, I gave you this. I'm like, oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. So tips to anyone who wants to get V to play a certain game, buy it twice for more than 12 years. <laughs> um, yes, well... I think I got there eventually, okay? I got there eventually. Okay, relearning. Right. So I, I am I am hoping to play this more than once a week so I don't forget everything. How do I put stuff away? H. Okay. But I remember the col the control scheme is fairly um uh intuitive. Yes, that chaos, thank you. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. All right, so here is Vince. This is uh, Vince Shepard. So, um, so last time we we learned a few things about about Vince, and he's going to continue to to develop as we go. Uh, but there's there's a couple of things I want to retcon uh, about last stream. Um. Because we know that, that, that Vince is, is a war hero, right? Um, he lost his family, and then... Um, I wonder if this is going to be in anywhere, like, like in... In Codex, in, like... Um, personal History Summary. The Alliance, right? Okay, that's the word I was looking for. Okay, so we... Um, El Pompino, welcome in. So we, we grew up on a trading um, post. We were attacked by slavers. The entire settlement was raised. Passing the Alliance Patrol rescued us. So we joined the Alliance. Um, and then we became a full soldier in the Alliance. And then um, our colony was attacked again by slavers. And we said, no, we're not gonna we're not gonna have this again. And and we fought them off. We as in so so I my character here, Vince, took a, a big role in that. Got himself a um, reputation as, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a war hero. Um, and so we know a few things about him. Um, he cares about those around him, right? He's very... because the Alliance is like his family now. So anyone who's in, who's in the Alliance matters to him. Um, and um, he cares about people, right? He's he's a good person who 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 just wants to to help people and save people, okay? Um, but he also, because the alliance like helps so much, um, owes the alliance a lot, like really, really, um, you know, like, like appreciates the alliance and what they've done for him and wants to pay them back. And uh, because in the military, you know, he he's very dedicated to the alliance and therefore to the chain of command, so he follows orders and things like that. 
and because of that you know he re he, he thinks that orders are really important and that the um the brass know what they're doing so um so he follows orders to the best of the abilities and then when he when things come along to screw that up I don't know why you're walking away, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, he, he has a bit of an issue with that, you know, because he feels that, um, that like, um, incompetent people are a danger, all right? He doesn't, like, wish them any harm. Like, he doesn't want them... Um, you know, he, he doesn't, like, think they should be, like, punished or anything in any way. But, um, yeah... Um, you know when she had the beacon and stuff yeah so he we gave her a bit of a hard time about that and um i think that's gonna, gonna be the case but so sort of last time finding the survivors was secondary to finding the beacon and um like i think my character would have been more like oh okay because i would have been very keen to find survivors because that's what happened to him he was a survivor on, on an attack and, and a similar kind of thing right except he was a savior so i think he would have been more keen to find the survivors um than, than what I kind of like um, pushed. It didn't really matter because it was like the introduction and, and, and fairly, um, what's the word, uh, li li linear, but still. Um, um, yeah, I think he would have like been, well, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, do my best to save them um, regardless. So I think, you know, saving, saving people will be a big thing of hers, right? And it's not because he wants to be a hero, it's just because that's what happened to him and he's just trying to pay, repay back what happened to him. All right, um, we've got these two. I don't think they're going to say anything to us. That's not how you speak to people. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. Yeah, that's interesting. Big place. Right, okay. Um, and then we've got these as well. These are the easily easy decryption. Um, so we can pay Omnigel, right, to, uh, to, to decrypt things. Or we can just play Frogger. Which I which I which I really like. I really like Frogger. There we go. Uh Captain Okay, so and of course, you know, I have just hacked a console here, which is probably like goes against my <laughs> uh, just what I just said. But it was a thing to do in a game that I haven't played before, so you know, you're gonna give me a little bit of a break. Um but yeah, I'm like, oh it's all it's all about all about all following orders and following the journey command and oh a thing to hack. Let's <laughs> you know, so okay. Hands up. Um, but uh, but hey, you know I wanted to play Frogger. So uh, Captain Harrison reported some unusual uh, energy readings during a patrol on the Argos Rio cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled after um, before our team could investigate further. No patrols scheduled for the sector. Do we want to send a recon team? So I don't think I'll pack any more. But we did just add something to our journal there, didn't we? Yeah. So we got a we oh we just got a side quest by doing that. Interesting. So we got missions, which are yeah. So it looks like looks like missions are like um, the main quest, if you like, and then assignments are things to do as and when. You travel around side quests, that kind of thing, looks like. So these are probably more important than this. Okay, it looks like you're expected to uh, hack that. So that's fine. All right. What are we doing? What's going on? <laughs> we got, yeah, we've got to expose Saren. Saren's a bad person. Saren is a very bad, bad person. And um, we're all like, he's a traitor. And they're like, no, he's not. And like, like, he bloody is. Um, So let's 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 uh continue on and go to the tower, which I'm 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 thinking might be like up. Oh, hello. I understand what you're saying, but these allegations are very serious. I can't just. This is serious. My reputation is at stake. I spoke with the consort in confidence, and her alone. And she betrayed that confidence. All right. I will look into it for you. In the meantime, do not do anything rash. 
Well, they've built themselves quite the lake. Wonder if anyone ever drowned in it. I know she's quite negative, right? She's like, oh, a lake. I wonder if anyone drowned in it, right? Like that's a certain uh, that's a certain mentality. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk to these uh, these these wonderful gentlemen and and uh, there's Din there as well. It is, yeah. It's a weird thing to say. It is. It's, it's definitely definitely a glass half empty kind of kind of mentality. Of um, of uh, hello, Dennis. How are you? Sorry, you missed nothing. Um, of you'll get the hang of it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm. Yeah, I, it's. It's cool, like like finding like how the writers put put a um put a, put a character across. Please greeting, human. It is always good to see your kind. Oh, thanks. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query: Is there something I can do for you this day? No idea. Should we? T should we? T you're weird. <laughs> you talk funny. What do you do here? Modestly, I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising uh. rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Din. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Oh, I love how they say what they like, the, the type of reply. It's like didn't didn't HK do that in Star Wars? Didn't didn't he used to do that kind of stuff? I need to talk more now. I need to talk, I, I love that they they preface the reply with the uh, with the sort of the, the tone of what they're gonna say. Hello, Fluffy Sauce. How are you? Elcor are great. Elcor, tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. <laughs> I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. <laughs> Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling you the history. <laughs> Come on then. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly, within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. I love them. I absolutely love them. I should, I should tell them this at work. Most people do. Most people do. Most people have been bludgeoned to death by work and now they do talk like this for me you bought kotar two years ago never finished never installed it uh, i know what you mean Simon. right i mean i could say oh my god how dare you not install kotar 2 you should have installed it and played it but the number of games hello what are we watching that i have um procured let's say through one way or another um and not played slash installed is is um terrible Really, is the top of his head a nose? Probably. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. I know how you mean. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups, though we are always welcoming to outsiders. But our government tends breached. to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. I like them. They're, I, they're, 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 they're my... Yeah, they resonate with me. Hello, Beta. Thank you very much for the raid. I very much appreciate it. You were playing Disco Elysium. How are you finding that? Um, and hello, Raiders. Lovely to see you. Um, I am Variax, Big V Streams, and uh, we're currently playing Mass Effect for the first time. Well, second time. First playthrough. Second session. You know what I mean. All right, I need to ask about his speech. <laughs> I'm gonna say, but your your speech is kind of, uh, yeah, yeah, Meatbomb, they're awesome. I love them. 
Uh, the dice hated towards the end, but I'm making progress. Uh, the dice giveth and dice taketh away, right? You're eating pineapple without pizza? Well, that's... That's, that's taking it to another level. Anything with the pineapple, or just pineapple? Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Right. Why do you bother, Kaelin? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that, and if you do, I am very sorry for you. I love them. I absolutely love them. I want, I want one. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. <laughs> Enjoy your time on the Citadel. They're great. They're absolutely great. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. We got some XP for talking to him as well. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Who's this Asari consort? Curious, you have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows Shatyura, the consort. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. No. Where can I find the Sasari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Okay. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Heading out. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. <laughs> Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? What's your problem, dude? Yeah. You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <sighs> Chastising rebuke, Din. <laughs> Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Curious. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. Services in what, though? Trade? Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. Right. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the council. Damn. What is this place? <laughs> you are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. Oh boy. What is it you do here? 
I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task, considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Chastising rebuke, Din. The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. Uh, how's your playthrough going? Yeah, I'm still finding my feet. Um, last session went pretty well. We got through the, the tutorial slash introduction, if you like. Um, so this is this is all essentially exposition. Um, because my character's been a around for a while, obviously. I think we're 27 in this. So, um, all right, he's never been to an embassy like this before. But I'm sure what these guys are talking about will be known throughout the world you know i mean um as in as in sort of the the law of the universe at least the majority of it um the basics of it so yeah this is all exposition for for me um the player hello Sal. how are you but yeah doing very good Hello, uh, is it is it Klecko? One of the best trilogies I've ever played. Oh well, I'm I'm looking forward to uh to exploring and uh hopefully you uh you enjoy coming along for the ride. Klecko, okay. Oh, I was almost right. I was almost right. Okay, Klecko. Nice to meet you. Um I guess you can happy as your guy too busy learning to shoot guns and learn about aliens. Yeah, yeah, I you you can, absolutely. Um And it's, I don't know how else they would do it, right? You know, you, you either give the player reams of information to read or listen to, which they've done, or you hear it through conversation. Um, because, you know, it's a, it's a whole new um, universe with, you know, races and species and, and, and conflicts and geography and resources and all this kind of stuff. So how do you get that across to the player? Uh, you, you need to be told it in some way, and dialogue is is probably the best way of, of doing that. Why aren't the Volus or Elcor part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Dismissive. Hmm. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah, this talk is wasted on the humans. I mean, all, um, so all the background kept Shepard intentionally away from aliens and such. Well, we, we grew up on a bat, uh, like a trading <laughs> um, place though. So surely, you know, like these volunteers here, wherever they are, they trade a lot. So we have traded with them. So, but I see what you mean. Um, Andromeda's a little boring. Okay. Because there's four games, right? There's one, two, three, and and Andromeda, right? I think Citadel is still tutorial in some ways. Um the the task is of of Kotor. Got it, right? High flame. Okay. The oh the big ones are Marvin from Mood Hikers. Yeah, you know what? You're right. They are a little bit, except they're not manically depressed. They just seem to be. Have we said everything? I think so. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Because we also get um, codex updates um, about the Elcor. Yep. Are a These. Okay. Yeah. 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 I can't say a lot. Whatever this is, though. This is Ashley Williams. No. <laughs> but this is this is a thing. That's really cool. That's got like four hands to uh, to type. Yeah, that's that's twice as efficient as a human. Pet it. I, I I. The only interaction I can have with 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 the world is is either the space bar which didn't work or by shooting it in the head with a gun. Oh, that's that's gonna get in there. Four high fives, yeah, getting more efficient. Welcome 
to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Okay. Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. Have three fingers in each hand, not quite as efficient as typing. No, okay, that would be yeah, alright. Yeah. So I want I want someone to work this out. Someone will enjoy this, I'm sure, right? You've got a human with five five fingers, that was a thumb, but you say five fingers on each hand, okay? You've got an alien with three fingers on each hand, but humans have two hands and aliens have four hands. Who is the more efficient typer? I still think it would be aliens because they have 12 rather than 10. Yeah, so I, but they wouldn't be, you know, twice as efficient, but they would still be more efficient. But then of course it comes to, you know, um, other other things as well, but um, you know other other factors. But I guess that that keyboard would have been designed for that creature to use, right? So thumbs are barely used. Yeah, yeah, it's only for like spacebar, right? So, so really, yeah, but still, yeah. So I, 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 it's it's, it's cu I, I, I'm curious. So are you a person or a program? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence. Program to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Okay. Maybe you should melt some cheese on your pineapple slices. Yeah, I tell you what, you should put some cheese on it and then maybe some tomato and some, some pizza base. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Yeah, okay. It's just like massive info dump. <laughs> I want to know more about Citadel security. Citadel security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Would you like to know more? Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. Oh, really? Oh, really? Why? Why, why was he many? Don't feel if you miss some law dump, they do a great job of working more than once. Okay. Um, I feel like I should ask this at least now, because then at least it'll be in my... my diary, right, for later. Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Hmm. Okay. I'll ask her what she thinks, but I don't think I'm just an AI. Not even an AI. What did she say? Wasn't an, wasn't an AI. It wasn't artificial intelligence. It was something else. She, it's basically just just a verbal wikipedia <laughs> what do you think do you agree with their decision i am not virtual to make that kind of qualified judgment my code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations yeah. virtual intelligence yeah yeah how come the bolus were the first species given an embassy in the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in Citadel space. They established many new colonies and trading outposts, and they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. 
in recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. Why weren't they made a council race? The council races have extensive responsibilities. They must provide personnel and ships for the Citadel fleets. They often provide economic aid in times of disaster. It would be unfair to demand such an enormous burden of a species unable to meet these obligations. Right. The embassies allow lesser species to have a voice on the Citadel. Lesser species? That's pretty damn arrogant. I apologize if my personality has offended you. Please submit all formal complaints in writing to the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians, the two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three Council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community, while preserving individual autonomy for each species. Similar, similar response if you insult Alexa. Yeah. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. I'm just checking who I can talk to. None of these guys. Yeah, this is a lovely lake to drown in, isn't it? So what... What was this arrow? Well, there's the academy, okay. There's a citadel tower. And there's a... Oh, yeah, fast travel? Go to mid locations as long as you explore the citadel, more locations will unlock. Oh, so you can just get into this and fly away. Will that fit all three of us in there? I guess it will, yeah. Are we just get in it and go? Financial district. The, so I'm thinking financial, financial district, that's a different kind of area. Man, okay. Go every place. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I know. Yeah, I'm going to the embassy. I'm going back to the embassy. I was hoping it would loop round, but it doesn't. Yeah, there's... Because, yeah. Yeah, because this is probably, again, a different loading screen down there. Just to kind of, like... Just guess how it works, if you like. Wrong button. Wrong button. Put that away. Can I summon the elevator? Is that going to work? You must talk to the council to get access to the wards. Why? How does that work? Does everybody in, 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 in the world have to go to the council? Yeah. I know, I'm supposed to go up there, aren't I? <laughs> Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. The car's a little bit quicker than the elevator is. Okay, right, because plot. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> you know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Avena. What's that? Oh, <laughs> Avena is the obviously short term memory loss. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the Embassies. 
Now, I don't think my character would really be one for, for small talk, but I'm only locking myself out of content if I don't. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. Hello, Snow. How are you? I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. 24 experience for talking to her. Uh... Hey, it's adding up. We'll still be level 3 at this rate. Hi, Jola. Welcome in. How are you? Have you done the drink command every elevator? No. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. <laughs> I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. There's another thing. There's another. There's another thing. A new thing. A new alien. Oh my god. Okay. There's so many different aliens. Oh no, you were you're the same race as uh, Saren, and you're just a yeah keyboard. Seems to be fairly efficient. Well, it seems like only the uh, the bottom two limbs are typing, and then the top two are doing something else. What are you, what are you playing? You're obviously playing something. Side here on the Citadel. Just swiping. Left or right though, right? Just talk to everybody. Do everything. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Uh no. I'm actually really lost, <laughs> so. I'm so surprised you didn't play Mass Effect before. Yeah, it's just slipped the uh, slipped the net. You know, as, as you know, I'm I'm all about the Dragon Ages, Elder Scrolls type thing, fantasy stuff. So sci-fi, it tends to slip the net a little bit more. Autonomous maintenance is a very fancy way of saying they're playing video games and collected taxpayers' time. Indeed, Hollandia. Indeed. I haven't used any elevators though. No, not a single one. So. Hello, Shaktabati. Welcome in. How are you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Oh, someone like Was me. Was there something you needed, Commander? Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the Council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Sounds like Jeremy Irons. I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No. Just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. Sure, it isn't. Jeremy Irons, it sounds like him. I feel like I'm talking to Sam Fisher. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. I'm obviously going to the wrong place. That door opened first. What am I supposed to do? A bar? This place seems strange. I wish there were more humans around. Well, this... Don't believe the rumors. The 
The consort would never reveal her secrets. Of course she wouldn't. She'd be tossed out the nearest airlock if she did. Uh, I suppose. Besides, Nick, the consort's nothing like the girls back on the colonies. <laughs> she's... she's... You don't have to do it with her. You can just talk to her if you want. Is that all you did, Jazz? Just talk? I didn't say that. Ha! <laughs> I bet you did too. Shut up, Fredericks. Hi, guys. I'm a, I'm a big deal. Imagine going to the police station and telling me about the police. You could do that, right? They would probably give you, like, a, a little um, leaflet. <laughs> like, uh, what's it? Um, for joining up. I don't know. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there something I can do for you? Yeah, Relax, I like that. Private. This isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? It might be, actually. What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... Things. You never want to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh... No, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. Bartender, bartender, bartender! Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? I have to say no. Maybe I should charge for talking to me, too. What do you help with, Ikit? What would people be paying for? You know who I am? Your arrival uh, created a bigger than average stir among the diplomats and hangers on around here. There's always something new happening around here. I could fill you in on some points of interest if you'd like. What's going on around here? Well, I like it, you it, found I like the it. embassies, not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. Oh, no shopping! For entertainment, I try Flux or Cora's Den. What is Shaira's? The consort? Uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. Most of the diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. She's a very powerful woman, but also very respected. I'm not going to ask about the entertainment. Um, I think we'll... Because we'll get to there eventually, just naturally by playing. So I don't think my character would ask, and I'm kind of... I'll, I'll, I'll let that to be a surprise for me as well about what that's all about. Goodbye. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. Where the hell is this embassy? I've missed it, haven't I? What are you all playing? They're all playing something. I wipe it with my own skin. Yeah, and he's actually stuck in there as well. Like, and where's the... Where, 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 where are the drinks? Right, that's a bar. Okay, right. Where are the drinks? Hmm? There's like nowhere where they can come from. They're playing Space Invaders. If that's it, that's fine. Nothing wrong with Space Invaders, but um Well there's a bar with no drinks there. That that's what's really upset me. Okay, so we've got a bar hang on, we've got a bar here. There's nothing out there. This that's C sec. So it's not an embassy. It's not in here. This is this is nothing unless I can just just Great. Yeah, that's a codex thing. It's great. They're playing Starfield. So hang on. Is 
So I, this is where I started the session. I'm lost already. I'm freaking lost. All right, so I started here, right? So there's nowhere to go here except through this door. So I go through this door. And I go up here because it said, up. oh, just just think about the... Okay, and they say, no, you're, you're, um, diplomats across the, across the way in the bigger office. Ah, the Earth Clan again. Oops. What is Goodbye, it? Ambassador. <laughs> said hi to say bye. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. No, 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 no. Let's not start a war. Ah, the Earth Clan again. What is it now? What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus. Your ambassador is next door. Next door? In his own office. Right, in next, next, space, next door. I aid my all right, all right, sure. Goodbye, ambassador. Yes, What yes. the hell do you mean, Good next day, door? Earth clan. Like, where's next door? They go down here. But I'm not allowed in here. Like, is this it? It's the room we started with. Okay, let me just freaking check what I'm supposed to do then, because I'm lost. Um, no wait, not codex. I'm supposed to go to the tower. Go to the sealed tower in the presidium. So okay, to so the tower. Right. Okay. So we found the presidium. Okay. Oh, we did. Okay, that was last session. Yeah, that's the difference between... Okay, that... No, 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 no. I just... I got... There. Um... Yeah, it was because it was last session, wasn't it? So that's what's kind of confused me, is that, you know... Because it wasn't this session, I'd basically forgotten. Um... So the tower is this way. So I am going the right way. Okay. Oh, so now it's pointing here. So I can go there. So I could fast travel there. Yeah. Feel the vibe has somewhat changed. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, hi. Your investigation is over, Garrus. So now you're here. <laughs> Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. There seems to be a lot, an awful lot of spray coming from this, uh... This fountain. You know, it seems like this entire area would be covered in a, in a, in... Would be a slip hazard, basically. Because look how shiny it is, right? So I'm just noticing these things, right? And, and these things annoy me. All right, a lot of water, a lot of spray. That's really high. Right, you'd definitely be getting wet at this point. So, so I'm so slip out, so trip hazard. So, where are the signs? Hmm? Where are the little yellow signs? So, it's I, I tell you what, someone's gonna get sued. It's alien water. <laughs> okay. A sorry require it to moisture their mucus, their, their muscles. I mean, that's cool, right? Mucus membrane, that's cool. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. It does not address the slippy fall floor thing, right? Does not address that at all. The very massive field keep it from getting wet. Mass effect fields explain it all. You'd be able to kill Joy in installing handrails on the Death Star. There's nothing joyful about plummeting to your death. So I suppose yes. I suppose I would, right? Yes, I would. I would be health and safety executive on the Death Star. That's that's what that's what I would be doing. 
Okay, excuse me, I can't... I can... Don't be ridiculous. The Bolas won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. The humans are making a strong push, and you can bet the Bolas will be right on their coattails if they succeed. Allowing the humans to join us is a sound strategic move. But the Bolas? No. The Hanar are likely to be next, then the Elcor. You may be right, though the Hanar need to lighten up a bit first. You just don't like them because you have trouble understanding them. Okay, oh! This is lovely. Just gonna walk all over it, right? A lot of people stood around doing nothing. Okay, so these are fake doors. You're important. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the counselor's assistants. Could they go anything they want? <laughs> Pretty much. Garrus's VA, uh, all of a Fallout 4. Okay. Yeah, well, he, he seems familiar. Commander. And there you are again. I hope we find out what those things are. What they're doing. No, I just want to ask a couple of questions. Just talking to himself. Got muffins and a beef dream, Shelley. That sounds good to me. Enjoy. Enjoy, enjoy. You do find out what they are. Good. And what they're doing. I hope so. It's gonna walk past you. Okay. Already started. Come on. <laughs> Made them yourself. Oh, how are they? What kind of muffins? The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. Isn't the guy glowing in red is the bad guy? Chocolate banana muffins. Christ, that sounds good. It wasn't me, it was you. I'm not going to say that. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. 
Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? I'm going to be angry, I think. Because we, we're, we're, we're a... Um... So we're a guy who likes who who enjoys like you know logic and straight thinking and things like that. But we we kind of this 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 whole kind of like meeting thing, right? Um, just closing the curtains. Um, it's not something we're used to, right? Um, you know, there's a word I'm thinking of. That I can't that I can't that I can't think of. But this kind of thing that we're doing here. Um, this sort of bureaucracy, we're not used to, right? We we see something at the end of the gun and we shoot it type thing. We're good at that, and we're good at at at, at that kind of you know combat. Um, whereas whereas this um, is a word asparagus. Sadly, not no. So so yeah, we might just not have much time for this kind of thing. It's obviously not going anywhere. You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. Well, that hang on. Wait a minute. I have issues. I have issues with this. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. Hmm? That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. It's a good way to, like, remove the captain and put it on us. Yeah, we just spoke to him. Well, yeah, but he's now he's moved positions, hasn't he, because of scripting, so we need to find him again. <laughs> he did seem... It's, it's clever, because he seemed like... Um, much more of a, a contrast compared to, you know, the guy who doesn't like us because we're human, and then he was much more on our side. So, you know, for, for that for that race. Um, so, so you obviously, you know, lean towards liking him. Yeah, people moving around. Yeah, I know it is. That's why Morrowind's a better game, right? Because people in Morrowind do not move. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Look, my character would feel the Captain should be involved because of course Chenna Command. Getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Yeah, so that's, that's where it was mentioned before. I thought you said he was a drunken loser. Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. 
Saren eliminated his target. But a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Um, do you intend to play Andromeda? I mean, currently I'm playing this and then we'll see, right? You know? Yeah, because what, what might happen is I might play Mass Effect and then play something else and then play Mass Effect 2 then play something else. We'll, we'll kind of see how it goes. Um, kill a thousand innocent villains to end a war without a second thought. So I wouldn't do that. No, my character wouldn't do that. Unless he was, you know, ordered to, and then they'd be like, ooh, I don't know. Um, but, um, I don't, but I wouldn't say so would I. Um, yeah, I don't think he would if he was ordered to either. But we'll see. Um,. Killing innocents doesn't end wars, it causes them. We should know that. Yeah. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the Council. He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The Ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. A new species of creature has entered your dungeon. Lenara, thank you very much for the follow. You are now one of the people. We're a soldier. We're a soldier. Uh, that's what human is good for. Target practice. I mean, that's that's very, very apt coming from you, Wicket. <laughs> With your rattling guns. Who cares if we get a seat on the Council? What's the big deal? If the Council passes a ruling on an interstellar matter, we have to follow it. We don't have the fleets or political allies to defy them. Once we get a seat on the Council, we'll be able to influence those rulings, protect our own interests, no more jumping through hoops whenever we want something. Take this mess we're in now. If humanity had a seat on the Council, we'd just send the Citadel fleet out to take care of Saren and his Geth. Problem solved. I can't, yeah, I'm just going to have to say, I don't really know like what he's saying here, we're too independent, I'm not really sure what the vibe is, so I'll, have to, I'll just have to say it and see. Maybe they'd let us join the Council if we were more willing to cooperate with the other species. Of course they would. If we did everything they told us to, they'd love to have us on the Council, but it wouldn't be much of a deal for us. I understand their side. They don't want us dominating the Council. It's founded on cooperation and alliances. But we have to look out for our own interests too. Open for Vima. Well, that'll be tomorrow, Custer. But well, hi, welcome in. Yeah, I'll be playing Morrowind tomorrow. So, if anyone that, okay, I think that's pretty much yeah, everything. All right. So, yeah, so let's go on to the business. Well, we'll ask about Spectres first, and then we'll talk about Harkin and other leads and things like that. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency, they tend to work alone behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each Spectre answers directly to the Council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The Council just turns a blind eye. Spectres have a lot of power, Shepard. They sound like shadow operatives. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are. The latest Alliance estimate puts their numbers under a hundred. 
but the Council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents, the last line of defense, the final option before open war. The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a Spectre shows up, you know something big is about to happen. I hope you give an honest opinion about this game and the second when you finish them. I found them very overrated personally. Fair enough. Yeah, I'll have to I'll have to see. I mean, yeah, I, I'm I'm always honest in my opinions. Um I've got I've got no reason to to ban into any any particular you know, where I've I've got no horse in this race, pretty much, you know. It's been a while. What's on the roster for the charity stream this year? Um so, yeah, quite quite a few games. Uh, might play some BattleTech. Might do some. I was thinking actually of doing some Morrowind just now, um, just before, because I was just thinking it'll be cool to just play Morrowind as Iron Man, without like a specific aim, or I could just do the main quest and then just design, just play as a mage and try and do the main quest. So I might just do that in the charity stream. Uh, might play some Baldur's Gate two. Um, But yeah, there's, there's a few uh, few things I kind of have planned. It's going to be 16 hours this year rather than 24. But uh, you know, you should be able to catch it no matter where you are in the world, I think. How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done, like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation, but with him gone, things are still up in the air. What happens when a Spectre goes rogue, like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The Council is careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another Spectre to bring the rogue agent down. I, I'm getting a very sort of like Jason Bourne type feel about the uh, about the Spectres. It seems very much like that kind of thing for them. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Balavan's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. Okay. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble, but I guess enough was enough. The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, but it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. So we've got two contacts, one at the CD bar and one of the, uh, yeah, journal update. Um, I keep pressing J for journal and that works. That's good. Yeah, Shadow Broker and Garrus. So no, we haven't met Garrus yet. Uh, yeah, let's go to this den, right? Maybe there's a bar there with actual drinks in it. Trying to find out where on earth I'm going now. <laughs> okay, I mean, yeah, look at this. It's dangerous. What's the point? What's the point of not having a railing there? What's 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 the? You know, I don't get it. Okay, I see. So I don't live in much around here, apart from one of those things, playing video games. Playing video games. Um. That 
guy's up to something. What guy? This guy? Went over by the keeper. Let's, let's let's find out. What? Oh no, I wasn't. Never mind. Not suspicious at all. Um. Yes. Is there something you want? Execution. If it is for execution, that's fair enough. Yeah, that works then. Die involved people who love to smack into a pane of glass. Why are you so interested in the keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keepers. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. I mean, has he lied? Like, he's, he's just like, I don't know whether I should tell you. Okay, I'll tell you. He hasn't, he hasn't really lied. <laughs> um, Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically, we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. No, we're not going to do it. What are the Keepers, though? Now we know they're Keepers. I'm going. Along. Yeah, we wouldn't be we, we wouldn't be uh, into that sort of thing. So again, I know I'm just missing out in um, on content for role playing, but um, dungeon keepers. Is that what a dungeon keeper looks like? Are they cute? What do you think? Are they cute? Most mundane guys on the Citadel. Okay. You like him? Is the character... There is character generation. I mean, it's... It's it's pretty much... You pick one of three backgrounds, one of three... Well, one of three recent backgrounds, and then one of three classes, and then... Oh, one of six classes. So it's it's not a, not a, not a hugely in-depth um, process compared to others. Yeah, there's like a million different facial customization things. A gentleman's club in the wards. Sorry, Ashley, but you need to leave. A gentleman's club. I'm going to say it's up here. <laughs> Let's just see, like, out here, though, where we're, where we're at. That's him. Oh. Hi. I forgot I have to play the game. Do you mind? All right, there we go. Yeah, okay, that. Those were Saren's men. Really? Clear. How do you know? They've gone. They've disappeared. Just in case you fell asleep after all the talking. I think, yeah, a, a spice of combat there would was good. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I see why this place is so popular. It's got quite the uh, view. Hey, Lieutenant, put your tongue back in your mouth before you trip on him. Uh, we found him. Back off, Rex. Fist told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. 
Can I wake humans? I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Right, well, I suppose we're supposed to talk to, but yeah, let's have a little uh, a generals here. No, we should we should stick on we should. Your innocence is gone. Oh bless, bless the house of non-earthly delights. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're a guy who's who's all about you know getting things done. As directly as possible, so. Alliance military. <laughs> I could have been a marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Biggest mistake of my life. This club, everyone's so firmly in their place. Yeah, I guess that's just kind of like how the engine is, though, right? I mean, it's it's hard to simulate bars in computer games because, yeah, you don't really get the chaos of everybody going somewhere else at the same time. But I don't think that's a bad thing. But it is a natural, yeah. But at the same time, you don't move around bumping into everybody. So. Um, yeah, there's. Uh, yeah, there's. I mean, there's the, the House of Earthly Delights in Morrowind. Yeah. Which is very similar to this, to be honest. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian CSEC officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Hi, FK. Bastard still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is. But you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. And screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. We could pursue this, couldn't we? That makes sense, you know, he didn't, yeah, I mean, he was on a mission with Saren. It makes sense that they were both, yeah, specters. You said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. Wow. Why'd they kick him out? I have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. Bet it's a good story, though. The heroes fall. Classic tragedy. <laughs> Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. Oh. Well, that was easy. What do you know about Garrus? Damn hothead is what he is. Still figures he can save the world. Always bucking heads with the executor. He'll pay for it soon enough. The executor loves to put us lowly field agents in our place. Just look what happened to me. You need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some responsibility for yourself. Yeah. Save your sermons. This ain't no church. All right, we'll ask about these. How well do you know Captain Anderson? Met him a few times over the years. One of those hardcore military Seems pretty sober, guys. to be honest. Yes, sir. No, sir. Can't have any fun with a stick up your ass, sir. That's probably why he climbed the Alliance rank so fast. The military loves brown nosers. The captain's a good soldier. Sure, whatever. Dress him in a fancy suit, pin some shiny medals on his chest, and call him a hero. Everybody else does. But if he's so great, why'd the Spectres kick him out? Why don't you go ask him about that? What's it like working for CSEC? You mean, what was it like? The executor suspended me without pay. Recurring violations. CSEC was keeping a file on me. 
Can you believe that? It's kind of their job, isn't it? Every mistake I ever made went into the books. Get a little rough with a suspect, note in the file. Have a couple of drinks on duty, note in the file. Skim a couple of credits off a drug bust, note in the file. It's a goddamn witch hunt. <laughs> witch hunt. <laughs> All right, okay. Yeah. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink it, please. Map! We got a map. Uh, okay, so we're there. There's, there's Ashley. Yep, okay, there we are. We can drag the map around. I guess we... Oh, oh, okay, it's gone. Because that goes... Okay. Well, let's have a little look around while we're here, shall we? Have a little look around, eh? Not now. I'm watching a show. Go away. I'm not interested in talking. What are they drinking? What is this weird, weird sort of bottle? It seems like they can be like knocked over really uh, easily, unless they're like weighted to the bottom somehow. But then. Why? Why not just make the base bigger? I got business here, but not with you. I thought this guy was called Chair. Is there a chair I can sit down on? I saw Chair. Oh, Chair. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's having a good time. I just need to. I just want to check. I just want to. That was a mistake. Sorry. Yeah, we're not going to relax here. All right, bar, bar. I want to. Again, where are the drinks? No, okay. So there are some like hatches right at the back. So maybe the drinks come from there. I don't know. I'm not really one to judge how this works. See ya, clink. So we're here. So where's that? Where's that going? That's going down into Fist's office. I'm not sure who Fist is, but maybe we'll find out if we find that other dude again. There's a lot of people, just like, just a lot of like... I've never really been to like a, a strip bar, so I don't know if this is like how it is in reality, but there's a lot of like, just, just guys sat around on their own. Right? Like, I don't know if this is... I don't think it is, right? I think this is this is more, you know, like like you go there for this, right? So why would you be stuck like this? Like I don't know. Is it pretty accurate? I don't know. Bit tame for a strip bar? Well yeah, but why didn't Captain Anderson tell us he used to be a specter? Maybe it's not true. Harkin's an ass. I bet he's just messing with our heads. You're probably right. Still, I'd like to hear what the captain has to say about all this. I don't think we should ask him. He didn't want to tell us. You think it's expensive to live here? Never been a real fan of crowds. Right. The game was very controversial with sexual content. <laughs> okay. What are we doing? Med clinic, upper wards. Okay. I'm gonna do one thing at a, a time. See you, Clink. The upper wards is. Yeah, we can get there. We could probably just do fast travel. Upper markets. I'm sure I saw upper wards somewhere. Upper wards there. So if we just go around here and then up there. Okay. See you reported. Alien Access game released. Hi, my man. Um, well, um,. So what? I mean... So so I'm guessing that, that in this game you could have sex with aliens, but I mean, like... How is that going to... Hi, Keeper. Um, 
like affect real life. People aren't just going to run out and have sex with aliens, are they? So. We're not with aliens, though, I chaos, because we, um... Excuse me, Commander Shepard! Well, hello. Freaking into Area 1, Bonifaz, thanks to Mass Effect. I mean, if that had happened, then fair enough, right? But, um... Um... Yeah, exactly, right? I, exactly, Helen, dear. Sure, fine. Hi, Emily. I already know your name, even though I've never spoken to you. Never met you before, I don't think. So, isn't that isn't that amazing? It's the power of RPGs. They also in RPGs, right? I want to see an RPG where the main character forgets the name of an NPC, right? Where where maybe Geralt was supposed to go. Oh yeah, I should go back and 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 turn the the monster. The monster party to that guy. Oh, what's his name? Can't remember. Like Geralt seems to remember everything, even though he like you know met like a million people a day. Like, really, you should have memory a memory state. Yeah, exactly. Right. See, so to to avoid the awkward, what was your name again? Or just hoping that their name is mentioned in a conversation. Otherwise, you'd have to call them mates for the rest of your life. It's really really awkward. Anyway, <laughs> Emily. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? I don't have time to give interviews, Ms. Wong. I don't want an interview. I'm looking for information. I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. Hmm. You've got to have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. I've read your file. If anyone is going to uncover corruption here, it's the hero of the Skillian Blitz. Oh, a oh, bit of a... Uh, bit of flattery there. It's Geralt's job to remember his client. No, it isn't. It's Geralt's job to kill the monster. Not particularly to remember the person who went, go and go and kill the, the harpies on the tower. Okay, I'll go and do that. Not not to remember who gave it. Like, you know. Remember where they are so we can collect payment, but not particularly to remember who who then what their name is. Not partic that, that's not that needed. But he seemed to do that anyway. He's a smart guy. Like he doesn't remember that right, he if he remembers what they look like and knows who to talk to, he doesn't need to remember their name, guys, is what I'm saying. It's their name, not the person. How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. Yeah, so you call them, hey, you. Yeah, hey, hello, bar, bar, keep, barkeeper. Barkeeper, yes, I've done that job for you that I, that, that, that from yesterday, you know. Like, he'll still remember who gave him, and it might just, you know, he won't remember he called them, you know, what their name was. You're, as usual, misunderstanding what I'm saying. No promises. But if I find anything relating to your case, I'll inform you. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Yeah, exactly. You found him by the smell, but he doesn't have to remember the name, is what I'm saying. Oh, hello, Nightbot. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that's a thing. Wow, look at this. Flying cars. It's hard not to like you know draw parallels with uh, with Star Wars with the uh, you know how it how it kind of looks. It doesn't, it doesn't feel Star Wars, which is great, you know, it doesn't like feel... Because obviously the, the two big sci-fi things are Star Wars and Star Trek, right? And... Um, 
like this kind of stuff here with with the with the with the float with the flying um highways if you like is very star wars but i'm still not really getting a star wars kind of um vibe you know because it's it's yeah it does feel unique it does it feels feels very much its own thing which i think is a you know a, a big thing um not to like to be similar to those two things with different aliens and all that kind of stuff but um and, and giant spaceports and 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 all the, and you know so, so it's very star wars it's very star trek in that kind of way um but still like like it, it definitely has its own kind of kind of feel which is cool once you get out of space it'll feel more star trek oh yeah 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 Time for a bit of sightseeing. Big place. Yes, Caden. Thank, thank you. Is that your professional opinion, sir? This isn't a station. It's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big. <laughs> but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? The council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. They probably just want to keep everything running. It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Or maybe they just don't like humans. All right, secure the chatter. We're all FNGs here, but we don't need to make it obvious. Aye, aye, Commander. Hi, that. Okay, that's good. Oh, wait, where's it going? Am I going the right way? I am going the right way. I am somehow heading straight to where I need to be. Yeah, there's transit again. Okay. I wonder how. I mean, it doesn't doesn't matter, but because obviously this is one of those, right? Go, right. But I wonder how we get that out there. Like how that how that mechanically works. I know I shouldn't be asking these questions, and the game doesn't really seem to think too hard on that. Because I thought, how would you join the traffic? Because <laughs> it seems to be going pretty quick. What use it? What use this? I thought it just skipped. It just it just showed you like uh, like them zipping by like this. Like zoom zoom zoom. It just seems hazardous, but maybe of course it's not manual. Maybe just get in there, program it in, and it'll just 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 uh, just do it automatically. That's probably. I didn't tell anyone. I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut, or we'll... who are you? Let her go. Nice shot. I like him. Over there. I forget I'd do anything but fire my gun. <laughs> Of it clear loot oh no we get loot from just killing things i thought you should have it might do morgan it might do um we'll we'll get in there later i i do miss looting though i know it does it automatically and i know why and i, and I can't say it's a bad thing but i do miss it i do miss going up to bodies and Searching and getting three credits off you and four credits off you. I, I, you know, I miss it. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you.
when you go through bodies it gives you more satisfaction i mean i can't say that i don't use the i mean in baldur's gate for example the the enhanced edition there's a little auto loot button that you can click and then you can pick everything up off the ground without having to click every single body and i use that right um but then this is the next this is the level like the, the level beyond that of uh, you know you don't even have to click right it's just there um but yeah i know what you mean okay absolutely why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. Uh -huh. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. All right, it looks like Fist runs that bar, which might link into that other guy that we saw, you know, the big, was it Grex or whatever? He seemed like he, I, I mean, I always have a little mini game in my head about who's actually going to be a, an NPC, not an NPC, Rex, uh, like someone who's going to join the party. Because I imagine, this is going to work a little bit like KOTOR and Dragon Age, whereas we're going to get a couple of... a crew, pretty much. And then we get to pick who to bring and that kind of stuff. I don't know. Um, but that's how I, I see it kind of going, because we have a crew of three, just like in KOTOR. Um, and then... And and then who is going to join that? You know, And I think, I think that, that Rex seems to be one of those possibilities all right the flaming fist <laughs> okay uh um 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 what quarian a few days ago a quarian came by my office she'd been shot but she wouldn't tell me who did it i could tell she was scared probably on the run she asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. I'm just going to ask where that is then. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. So every time you guys see here Shadow Broker, um, th there's, there's, there's a fan-made Dungeons and Dragons film called The Gamers, and the bad guy on that is called The Shadow. And every time he's mentioned... <laughs> All the uh, all the characters goes the shadow the shadow the shadow and every time I hear shadow broker I just keep hearing that so I don't know how many of you guys have seen the gamers but it's free on YouTube and you should definitely go and watch it after the stream. What else can you tell me about the Quarian? I'm not sure. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She didn't. Wait a minute. Geth. Her information had something to do with the Geth. Mm. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. Yep. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council, and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. <laughs> you know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Hi, Rex! Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Wherever a Krogan Last is. I heard he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the academy before he leaves. Let's do that on the way. Move out. Okay, let's... Oh, there! Oh, 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 okay. Well, okay. well this this explains a lot. Um, okay. All right, so, so um, Alenko is part of the crew. I just thought um, Alenko was a filler <laughs> character um, who was destined to die, so I'm quite surprised to see him here. 
So we've got Yaris there. We've got Rex. And then we've got two other individuals. All right, so I need to take him out, put him in. Oh, combat strength is high. Okay. I might recommend right. Oh, the elevators. Yes, of course. Right now, I remember the elevators with the. Um... Right, I see. Because you get different banters between the two. Well, between yeah, all of you. Okay. <laughs> um. It's totally Rex. Come on. <laughs> it is him. Like it's got the the red. It is. It is totally him, Fluffy. Um, and it could be Jim from the corner office. It is Rex. Um, okay. Bye, Ashley. <laughs> if you feel lucky, we should visit the casino over in Flux. All right, let's have a look at... Um, this dude um okay so we got 10 points to spawn on him uh so he's a um a turian agent right okay because where is where's where a soldier and you're a sentinel you're just a turian agent right so you might have some different yeah okay um so this will really define what you can do, I think. All right, so improves accuracy of all weapons by 4%. Improves damage with assault and sniper rifles by 4%. Okay, so you're a long-ranged for sure. Right, okay. Right, so you're a sniper. I mean, that makes sense because you took that shot in the um, scene just now. We got six points to spend as well. When did that happen? Okay, well maybe maybe um health have you got 120 129 you've lost one hit point okay <laughs> okay he's lost one hit point you want suggestions sure i mean i don't i don't mind that yeah um i think rex will be very much about assault training and armor you know he'll be a, he'll be a very um this kind of thing. I'm just I'm just assuming, right? But um But yeah, so this guy's definitely a sniper. The thing is that we're already going down the down this kind of route. Electronics and decryption are a great kill to have in at least one person. The, uh, the other weapons are fine, pistols and their special ability are OP. Description uh, lot picking, okay. You're talking for a scientist? Fair enough. Alright, so. I see, because, yeah, not everyone has every skill. Right, so decryption. Electronics are critical having at least one person. This is why, this is why I think Elenko is going to be very useful, because he can have both. But he doesn't get electronics until that. So I think we should really bump this up till we get electronics. Let's just do that. And then you've at least got those. And then with you. Yeah, we can just make you have sniper rifles. You can stay at the back. So we can have like... Because I am, you know, I'm, I'm good at... 
I'm the assault guy, right? So I'll just be using assault rifles. I'd like I like using sniper rifles, but I think having him as sniper rifles um, in the back would work quite well. Garrus also has both. But one is gated behind first aid. Oh yeah, so it is. That's weird. Which is fine to have. Yeah, I think I think for now we'll go with this though. We'll go with that. And then I can put he was like I'm gonna try and get him to to sniper rifles. Ten points should be able to do that actually. So can I just like click here? Nice, okay. So we'll get that. Next shot will inflict damage equal to 200% of the weapon's DPS. Purge's weapon heat. Okay, so I could go for that, or I could go for um, just 6% and 10% accuracy, which I think I will, because that'll be about all around. So we'll do that, and then I'll have you just use sniper rifles. Now, how do I do that? Do I do that in a... Well, let's just... Okay, thanks. Let's take them all. So you, with your sniper rifle... Um, got a couple of different ones. Let's have a look. So you've got an Avenger currently with nothing on it. Um, so the hammers do more damage, but have less accuracy. But we've, all, we've we have increased its accuracy quite a bit, though. And these do. All right, we'll give you a Reaper. I think. Yeah, have a Reaper. Um. And you can use that. How do I tell him to do that, though? Will he just default to his best weapon, or what? The shift menu. Okay. Okay, so you... Use them. Okay, thank you. And you use your pistol. Brilliant, thank you. That'll do for now. I don't want. I don't want to labour over that too much. And we can get, can get Omni Gel. But I think. Sorry, my, my gel. But I'm fine. So we'll get Rex. Oh, let's drop, let's drop a save. <laughs> we haven't saved all all freaking session. We've been playing for two hours. So they want us to go to the... Okay, what is it? So if we... Yeah, this one. Okay, speak to Rex. The Seastack Academy. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's just use this then and see if we do, do get that animation. Um. Hmm, where was the academy again? Save? Yes, thank you. Maybe I'll just have a look around. I think I saw it in this area. If we just go go back here again the embassies. I think it was around there. Or should I take an, an, envelope, an elevator? Remember to say the auto saves are not good. Yeah, thank you. Well, you guys remind me. Yeah, I, I don't think there was one before. No, let's, let's see if there's an elevator around here then. What are you doing? What are they doing? Okay, we'll just get a little codex entry. Oh, it goes on there. That's that's where it's supposed to go. Okay. <laughs> Kid yourself. It's even bigger than it looks. How would you know? It's what she said. One of five hundred to see the ascension from the inside out. Really? It took almost six hours and we only saw one tenth of the ship. I even got to meet the commander. 
Matriarch Ladanya? You met her? Well, she addressed everyone on the tour, but I got pretty close to her. Huh, just look at that ship. You'd have to be stupid to mess with that. Very true. She's got almost as much firepower as the rest of the Asari fleet combined. Hopefully, she'll never need to use it. Yeah. All right, down here. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Senna. Yeah, so I'd, I'd rather just walk. Because then we'll get to talk to this guy, would we? Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? Yeah, we're a big deal. I was deal. during the Blitz. Saw you on the vids when you got your medal. You saved the whole colony. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry. I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang. Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? You're gushing. I kind of like it. Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. Yeah, it was a witch hunt. Absolute witch hunt. How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. Uh, that's not very professional of you. What do you know about the Spectres? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much. Figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the Council wouldn't use them, right? Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens. Like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. Okay, hi Morgan. Uh, given Caden the electronic skill and locked the overload ability, I'm not trying to backseat, just want you to be aware of that mechanic because it might impact level up choices. Thank you, Morgan. That's not backseating. No, that's just letting me know stuff that I probably missed. Let's have a little look. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Huh? Yep. See you around, Command. I am. Very busy. So let's see. Giving him the electronics skill unlock the overload combat ability. So is that something that would be in the shift menu? Because yeah, it just says overload there. Can cause electronic skill on easy objects. There's 50 damage in a 6 meter radius. 2 to damage to enemy shield. Okay, that's actually quite good. Because shields are a pain. So if you do... Oh, I see. So, well... I... Jammers online. Right, so he's gonna... Does, am I telling him to do that there or not do that? <laughs> Super can only apologize for everybody. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um, to do it. So gray is do it. Because it, it looks like it's, um, you know, because it's discolored, like it's gray, it looks like it's um, grayed out as in don't do it. Gray is recharging. You click on it. Oh, I see. So if I just wait. So I've just told him to do it, haven't I? But I wasn't in combat. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I get it. Yeah. Right. Okay. I see. I see. I see. I see. So you do that and then you do that. Okay. So you got this. You got uh, barrier shield that absorbs damage, but you cannot block attacks. But okay. I see. Because I wasn't in combat, I didn't actually do anything, but it, it did the. Um... Right. I get it. Okay. Uh, let's put the weapon away. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Okay. Elevators. 
So this is our first elevator. Yeah. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Okay, so sometimes you get um, news snippets, which is cool. And I guess sometimes we'll also have conversations as well between little, little bants. And I also love the elevator music. <laughs> Alright, Rex, where are you? Yeah, it was not. It was. Oh, is this a, is this a requisition? Can I get? Can I get? Can I get stuff? One sec, looking you up. Commander Shepard here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel. That about right? How do you know who I am? I'm the CSEC Requisitions Officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Oh, yeah. Show me what you've got. Oh, shopping, guys. Excellent. I hope you find what you're looking for. Okay. Um. Right. Well. <laughs> I would not even. How is it a bit of a long screen game? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay. Um. Maybe we should... We'll put this one on the back burner. This gives us some idea about like how much stuff is though. Why is that so freaking expensive? Um, like, all right, so say I wanted this. How do I know what it does? Oh, compare it to uh, what I've got. Okay, it's better. Um, and it compares it to all of our current currently uh, equipped pistols. That's really cool. So again, this. Oh, that's that's really nice UI. I like that. Level two or three as levels. Oh yeah, so this is level four, right? All right, let's, let's stop. Uh... Okay. Yeah, so I can't quite afford that. I don't know if I want anything. I'm going to sell stuff anyway, right? I'll probably sell everything I don't have equipped. Hi, Mizarl. This is a what? What is this? Adrian Labs license for Normandy Quartermaster. So this is for, for me to buy things on the Normandy. Yeah. Okay. Except I bought it. Um, oh, grenades. I like grenades. Maybe we should buy that as well. Okay. I am still manufacturer on the ships. Oh, we'll need that one manufacturer though. All right, I see. See, it's weird how you have to buy how you have to buy something to be able to buy something. <laughs> um. Okay. Why am I wearing that? Oh, hang on. I am, right? These are equipped. No, wait. No, I'm confused. I can't wear it because I don't have the skill for it. That's why. By the time I get the skill, I will probably um, have found something better. Right. I am going to... Sell everything. Yeah. Kind of, kind of paying for kind of like paying for the merchant to come and sell stuff at your stronghold in Baldur's Gate 2 rather than having to cross the map. Paying for the merchant to come. Yeah, okay. Um you can 
bulk sell stuff if you click the bin icons at the bottom left corner. I don't see that. I'll sell all junk. And I think I'll sell... Everything. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, wait. That seems good. It's very grayed out. Oh, it is. It is. Thank you. Right, I'm going to sell all the weapons, but not these two. But I'll sell these. Has it sold it? Or is it junk? Okay. Right, let's check these two things out. Uh, equipment. Okay, I've done this before. Yeah, we'll just equip that on. That seems good. Okay. Um. Um. Equip. Okay. Yeah. That works. I don't spend for edges on that. Oh, how much money do we get? Hello, Commander. Show me what you've got. So what did we... Excellent. I hope you find what you're looking for. So the stuff that we sold was worth... How much? Hmm. Yeah, because I'm currently wearing medium armor. So that's better than... Um, what these two are wearing. A Hydra too. I can't quite afford it anyway. Increase biotic abilities by synchronizing the element zero nodes within the user's central nervous system. Good. Good. Well, that's just what he's got. Right. Power bonus, cooldown bonus, duration bonus. Okay. Right. I think I'm has got that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not a human. He's a which is cool, actually. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, I found the shop, and I've more or less navigated. Oh, hello, Rex. Hello, Rex. Also, loot is leveled in this game. Yeah, I saw that, yeah. Which is good, because it gives you some kind of indication about um, what kind of range you're looking for. But it's like, um, you know, like like plus one, plus two weapons in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> so I guess, I guess in that, it, it's also leveled. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. <laughs> Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Does this mean you're part of my team, Rex? Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Told you. Told you. Told you that was Rex. Told you. Told you. Alright, he's got a bit of biotics. It's not true, but okay. Yeah. I mean, not all things are true, though, are they? His full name is Jim Rex. Uh, sure. I was promised Jim. 
Yeah, it definitely seems like a tank. Yeah. Nothing like a giant turtle killing machine covering you. Yeah, well, it's just difficult to know who to bring. Um, are we going to drop Caden then, I guess? <laughs> <Let's>... <laughs> this is totally should show. All right, let's... Uh... That's okay. Hi guys. Oh what a Now the thing is for role playing, I think he would keep Olenko along. Right? Um Because he kind of uh, knows knows him and he's part of the Alliance military and everything like that. Um, and we're going on kind of a hit now that, uh, that, that it's kind of not really um, something we normally do. The role playing wise, I probably should keep a link along, but you know, as, as a gamer, as a player, I kind of I kind of want to see what these guys are are about. You're a battle master. OK. That's pretty cool. A lot of health. Yeah, a lot of health. You're doing 90% of players are doing? Yeah. I mean, that's... I, I get that. You know, and like I say, as, as a player, um, that is what I want to do. But, you know, as a role player, I probably shouldn't... Um, shouldn't. Because <laughs> uh, now we don't have, like, electronics. We've got, like, one... and So we have we have less ability opening stuff, like speaking, like, meta, I feel like. Um... All right, so battle. So I feel that this like like defines their class a little bit. It doesn't fit in the level up screen. No, it doesn't. He does not. <laughs> There's me. <And> then boom. <laughs> um, but hello, uh, Sonara. Nice to see you. Um. All right. So this. Well, okay. Let's have a look. So it regenerates three health per second. That's really good. Melee damage by fifty percent. Whoa, that's a huge bonus. That is massive. And increases resistance to um, psychic forces by 25%. That's huge though, like 50% just for one skill point. That's immense. So by three, he does double damage. So for now, I'm thinking just going straight into like combat armor and battle master. Just so he's good at what he does. I get that that double damage though. Biotics are really good too. Yeah. Increase hardening, lol. Let's get that shield boost as well. And then Yeah, we've got warp and barrier. But this is oh, this is obviously defensive. Um, inflict six damage on the target every second, lowers the target's damage protection by fifty percent. Wow! So we could do like even more. Bunking someone in the head with your weapon, so it's great in some situations, but not others. Yeah, it'd be very situational, won't it? I think for this it'll be good because obviously we're in a space station, right? So it's like small confined rooms and corridors. Whereas on an open field, probably wouldn't be as useful, you know, hiding behind rocks and stuff. Um, but I think for this, it'll be pretty good. This one. Um, reduces health damage by 75%, does not reduce damage to shields. Right, so... Yeah, you get 75% resistance to damage, I think. I think. Reduces health damage by 90%. It's a weird way of putting it, but yeah, so it's basically you get 75% damage resistance. That's good. For, uh, for six seconds. 
Oh, just fitness in itself increases health. Okay, yeah, that's good. Maybe getting more health then? Hmm. I can't get it until I get this. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, now he's got 200 hit points, which I'm guessing is quite a lot. Because I made my character pretty tanky with this. But uh, <laughs> he's, he's still got 50% more. So, all right, Rex, let's see what you can do. I guess also um, my character, we could argue, is um, like very um, confident in his own abilities. So, you know, this this fist guy, you know, we're a freaking hero. Um, um, so we can probably handle him on our own. So we're going to test these guys to see if they're worth putting into our squad when the... Um, you know the the odds the the the, the so it, it's more important if you like okay so now we'll do it. i mean i spent all the points now so i know equipment let's see what you've got it's a shame that there's no melee weapons though like i'd love to give them a grippy battle axe it's like screw shooting right um, but I, I, I don't think this really matters too much because he's just going to go in there and, and like, bundle them over. So, um, yeah, good. You've got a, you've got a Lancer. Good for you. Yeah, he does save him. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Right, let's give it a save. Get a new save. And let's go and see this fist, dude. Yeah, let's test these guys out. Um... Is there anything else we can do here? But we just came here to get that dude. Another, another elevator. Okay. What about down there? <laughs> I suppose there'd be, yeah. I suppose so. Okay, Jaleed. Let me get this straight. Your business partner, Shorman. He's threatened you. Another quest? Well, no. Not exactly, but he wants to meet with me. I think he's going to kill me. That would be a threat. And why do you think that? Wyatt, sorry. I, I can't really get into the details, but Shorbin will kill me if I leave here unprotected. I can't help you. Not unless you give me something more to go on. I, I can't. I'm sorry. All right, why not? Then I've got other work to do. But I... But nothing. Don't bother me unless you're willing to give me details. Oh, bless him. You're right. How does he get his weapons? He got his pistol there. That's cheating. All right, hang on. Use your sniper. Yeah, <laughs> that's cheating game. <laughs> Oops, sorry. That works. Yeah, <laughs> I, I guess that's fine. I guess we should give him shotguns because he's gonna be he's gonna be um. Which one? Which one's the shotgun? I, sh I think that is the shotgun, isn't it? That's the shotgun. Storm, yeah, it's shotgun. Yeah, use your shotgun, dude. Okay. It's cool. I mean, it's it's a, it's a minor thing. It's funny. No, no, run button, run button, run button, run button. Hey there. Oh, you're not Csec, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying Maybe to Morgan, kill me, yeah. Oof. and I thought we were friends. <laughs> How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Yeah. 
Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. He's cool, I like him. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Well, good luck. The little, like, weird mole people. I'm still having trouble with the map, you know. Right, where is he? Is he on the way? Let's just... Let's just leave and, and well, we can talk to other people. Hello, Commander. How do you do? What's up here? Traffic control. Will we get lost in the citadel? Okay, that's good to know. Thank you. Oh, I get to poke around. Oh, I get to poke around. It's probably not somewhere I should be poking around. What is this massive empty space? <laughs> what on earth? Maybe we can have a little... Okay. Not as bad as... Is it a swimming pool? Is it an empty swimming pool? That's that's a hell of a... Um... Yeah, I guess it, it's a... Yeah, it probably is a hangar. That's what we'll go with. I'm uh, dubious, but yeah, sure. But yeah, that's, that's what people are saying, so. Every time I visit the Citadel, CSEC brings me here for a friendly chat. I used to have an office here. I spent half my time doing paperwork. Next Ben Danger Room. It looks like it's somewhere that might be for, um, you know, virtual reality stuff. Holodeck, exactly, yeah. Alright, let's just take this elevator somewhere, we can get a little... I'm going to gravitate towards the elevators. And we'll see where we go. Where we end so up. So how about it, Gareth? Is this better than CSEC? Fighting a rogue spectre with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats CSEC. There may just be hope for you yet, Turian. Play Mass Effect VR in there. That'd be cool. All right, where am I going? <laughs> we need to go back to where we were. Okay, the embassies. I don't need that. We can try the tower. Oh, there's a finance place as well. But I don't want to do that just yet. Hey, there's a giant, giant um, statue of your Rex. Look at that. I bet if we go around there, that's a viewing point, isn't it? One for later, though. You can skip them. I don't think that's a terrible thing to add. Like, obviously I won't, but, like, any kind of functionality like that I can get behind. I've told you before, you're not allowed in here. This one believes it has the right to move Whoa. through this area. You're creating a public disturbance. It's against Citadel regulations. This one is unsure why the other would not wish word of the Enkindlers to be spread. Right. This, right, this is not a joinable uh, character. Because the uh, the silhouettes, <laughs> they did not look like this. Um, it's a shame, though. I would bring this guy along. He seems pretty cool. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit.
What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. I can totally, like, see the reason for this. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. I don't think I'll be able to because I'm not very good at convincing things. Um... Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? The CSEC officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. This one is too humble to suggest that the CSEC officer is personally biased. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Yeah, so I can't do these. What if I purchase the event? Oh, I didn't mean, I didn't mean to you. click the button. <laughs> Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. Oh God. Yeah, see what I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give it the 150 credits, huh? I'll be back. I think you should just arrest this it. This one will continue to spread its message. Any progress with that Hanar? I think you should I think you should just arrest it. It is it is breaking the law and we're we're like lawful right now. So like lawful neutral. So I think that we that it, it should be arrested. It is not obeying the law. So No. Sorry. I'll let you know if I come up with something. I don't care what the something is as long as it rids me of the Hanar. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers or has the honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Can you just shoot it, Lamau? That that is all. Murder is also illegal. Probably more so than uh, than than you know. Got a religion in the wrong place. He wants to buy a weapon license. And fifty to pocket, maybe. I know it's chump change. That's not the point. It's um, you know, it's the. It would just absorb the bullet. I mean, I I don't think that shooting it would be. A, is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. I'll be back. Why can't we just arrest it then? It, this it, one it, will continue to spread its message. It, it should be arrested. It's breaking the law. Wait a minute. Hello. Oh! 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 Please do not disturb the keeper. Oh, kill joy. Oh, it's a thing. Oh, it's it's our it's a ship. Can we have a look at it? No. It's a thing. It's a. It's a. It's a really not a ship. It's a space. It's a space thingy. It's a spinny. It's a thingy that's in space. It's. A, it's a. Yeah. It's. I know. It shoots you off into. It's a cool space ship. There. I've got it. A ship. Go get over it. It's a space railgun. Yeah. And you go in there and you go pew off into like other places. But yeah, it's a. It's a spaceship. You okay there, Rex? No, not Rex. Garris. You okay, Garris? Garrus, thank you. It's a gun that fires spaceships. <laughs> I like it. 
Uh, still, this is where we're supposed to go. I don't know. I've got to get another. Uh... I'm surprised that you're willing to kill your own Rex. Aren't the Krogan just a few generations away from extinction? You don't get it. For all your talk of honor and pride, the Turians never had to test their principles in a real struggle. Anyone who fights us is either stupid or on Saren's payroll. Killing the latter is business. Killing the former is a favor to the universe. <laughs> Killing stupid people. <laughs> it's a favor to the universe. Oh boy. Yeah, I guess so, Flame. I mean, it's my own fault for not um, not investing into those because I should have. Right, we need to find a fast travel point. Um, so I can get back to that club. There's one up here, I think. Um, yeah, because I mean, I, I, I've, I've, um, I've gone very much down the. Uh... See, it's only, it's only like, like five points. Oh, hang on. There we go. Um... That was easy. Although it's not really. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Like, I think that we should. Hmm. This just seems like such, such like it, it. It almost seems like it's an add-on, right? This because it's such a, a small amount of skill points you have to put in, um, to get these. Unless you get more later, it it, which I don't think is the case. You know, it's like a quick on a charm or intimidate. You know, I can undo them. You get them, yeah, these. Yeah, oh, I see. So if you, so so say I put more in, say I, I did a lot of Renegade stuff, right? Put that, put three into Renegade, do a lot of Renegade stuff. That unlocks this, which then, which then upgrades more Renegade stuff. I intimidate, right? When you get more Paragon, yeah, okay. All right, I get it. Um. So the game, yeah, either either the douche pro profile or well, yeah. But the thing is, if we're talking, so the last example, right, of that thing that should be arrested, would that be? Would that be renegade? Because not really, it's not really renegade to to. Um. Follow the law. <laughs> um. I don't want my character to be a douche. I think he would be quite intimidating because of just who he is, right? Um, a lot of people are like, whoa, you're Commander Shepard. Wow, I've heard a lot about you sort of thing. So he has a lot of like weight behind the name. Um, so he'll be intimidating, you know, without really being a douchebag about it sort of thing. Patient versus prickly, I see. I don't think my character would be that charming. That's the thing. I just don't think he'd be that. Maybe I'd go without either. Maybe I'm going to try without either, right? Because I don't... I said at the start that, you know, in the first point that I made about character creation, so I usually play the first playthrough. I normally play as a, you know, a charismatic sort of character who is able to talk their way into things and stuff. Um... And I didn't want to do that. I want to do something different. And I, because my character has been basically a grunt all of his life for most of it, he wouldn't really have much of a charming personality. He just kind of gets stuff done, which would be more the intimidation route. Going, going base neutral route would probably be quite different. So, a lot of spectrum. I was renegade by being brutally efficient. I was renegade by being a mass murderer. See, I don't want to be a mass murderer, but I do want to be brutally efficient. I think my character is just brutally efficient sort of thing and doesn't have a lot of time for small talk and time wastes and stuff like that. And if someone's like, I might let you in sort of thing, if you can make it worth my while, 
you know, my character will just be like, no, let me in or, or, or there'll be consequences and be like, whoa, okay, I'll let you in sort of thing. I, I can kind of see that being a way of, you know, how he operates um, rather than sort of like pander to, you know, minor bribery and stuff like that. So, so maybe I'll, 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 I'll see how the intimidation thing goes, right? No, I'm not. I'm just, I'm just kind of explaining my kind of thought process to see how that would work mechanically, a Turner, really. No one forces you to do stuff yet. So I think I will, you know, I think he will be quite intimidating just by, you know, being here and, well, you're Commander Shepard type thing. We'll go with that. I might put one in charm just to unlock the first, but no, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe I'll just do this and then we can bang the rest into soldier because I think we're a really good soldier, so that kind of works. Um, and yeah, then I can add stuff to other stuff later. But yeah, fitness is, again, I get that, but we've got Rex to do that, so. The way it's set up in game is you just react to the situation or reward whichever side your action is, so you could accidentally come, uh, become quite renegade. Disregard life for the efficiency of the job. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to disregard life. Although it would depend whose life it is, right? There's a million points. Yeah. Yeah, what's this? You're right. The shield thing. It's fair enough. Yeah, we'll get that. We'll get that. Yeah, I don't... I mean, I he would be... You know, I just, I just think we'll... We can unlock first aid and we can... I think that works. Yeah. We'll, we'll we'll do that. Like I am I am playing it on veteran, and if it, if if I do level people up, badly, um, like we can we can just turn the difficulty down. <laughs> yeah, I do see me being a heavy armor sort of guy. Yeah, I think that's a fast travel place there. I think it's in the... Yeah, okay, we'll go back here. The Gentleman's Club, yes, yes. So just to recap... There's a reporter's request, okay. Right, so if it's a crime lord hiding out at the, at the bar called Kara's Den, he's meeting with a Aquarian who has proof Saren is working with the Geth. Okay, the so main quest. We'll do the main quest, and then we'll we'll do some assignments. I can't imagine playing without coercion, so to speak, in either douchey or more sympathetic kind of way. It's your choice, so there isn't a neutral kind of persuasion. No, no, it doesn't it seem to be. Reminds me a bit of Kotor 1 playthrough when you didn't want to be evil, but you were getting all the dark side points for simply wanting to be paid for the job and not being Jesus incarnate. <laughs> yes! Yeah. I mean, it did work in the Kotor 1 playthrough, and I think that was one of the, one of the sort of, a, a shining example. Um, not really an example, but just a really, a really good kind of, or an example of, 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 of me doing a good job of role playing a game. A role-playing game blind because obviously I didn't know how long the game was and I wanted my character to have an arc and he did start out as um, a kind of Han Solo, char Han Solo character who didn't want to be a Jedi and you know used blasters and just wanted to be paid for the job he was doing and then eventually um, you know became became a Jedi and that kind of worked out but but yes um, dark side points for wanting to do the job that you paid for was uh, a <laughs> It's just kind of how the universe works, I guess, right? All right, let's get into a fight now. Yes. This knows we're coming. I've noticed quite a lot of things on the um, old uh, 
Can't save it this time. Oh god. Okay. Wonderful. Alright, how um how do you throw grenades again? <laughs> they were really useful. Gee, that makes sense. All right, thank you. That makes sure I have... Um... So wait a minute, okay, so... Shotgun. Assault rifle. Okay. Space is pause. No. Dude, you're supposed to be in the back. I will destroy Shit. you. Okay, let's see. So if well, they're doing their their things and stuff, right? Do that. Uh do do that. Sure. Oh this down. Oh I see and that okay, I get it, I get it. the bartender i know i saw that that means free bar <laughs> okay so where where are you okay so how do we heal h no it's holster i forget um V. V for feeling. Okay, thank you. Maybe don't know why I didn't play back in the day. I had to use my squad abilities and I think I missed out on a bunch of fun abilities as a result. Yeah, I'm trying to. It's just difficult to, you know, do everything at once. Can we save now? Right. Please don't turn off your computer. Wow. Okay. There you go. But yeah, it does. It's it actually pauses time. Ah, okay. Stop right there. Don't Criminal scum. Closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. Ooh. Um, if you want to micromanage the other squad actions, you kind of have to use the pause thingy. Yeah. It kind of works because you point at an enemy, you press shift, you do this ability, you know, you, do an you point at another enemy, press shift. It, it works. It's pretty slick. I don't mind it. Red option? Yeah, red option. Um, what if fire breaks out? It's true enough. Um, only game I enjoy having real time with pause. Nice. I mean, yeah, you're making a mistake. I mean, we don't want to hurt them, but we will if we need to. This kind of works. I just killed 50 bodyguards to get in here. 15. What do you think I'll do to you? Uh, well, See, this uh, works. Uh, screw fist. He doesn't pay us enough for this. Yeah, I mean that 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 is exactly what he would sort of do. He doesn't want to been quicker to just kill them. <laughs> Shooting people isn't always the answer. Renegade plus two. Yeah, but I mean he He's right though, right? 
what chance did they have? Prickly. Yeah, I mean, but you would, you kind of would be, wouldn't you? Um, that that com that that reply fit perfectly with kind of what I wanted. I wanna, I wanna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oi. New species of creature has entered your dungeon. Uh, J Dubs, thank you, J Dub, thank you very much for the follow, and Al, one of the people. Uh, oh, okay. So level level two pistols, that's cool. So I press this, and I say, yeah, you do that. Got rid of his sables. Nice. Oh, turrets. Ow. <laughs> ah, that is fist. Okay. I surrender. Tell me where the quarian is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. <laughs> wait, wait. I don't know where the quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the shadow broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Oh, okay. A uh, little match of BS to spare lives of dumb storage workers about tonight. Yeah, I, I don't know why he had to um, lie, though. Because, I mean, 50? Like, we killed about five. That's still, <laughs> still enough. Um, not only as evil as it gets in the subsequent games, more of a Kirk versus Picard or Han versus Luke kind of choice. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and the flames are saying the same thing. All right, psychopathic, yeah. Okay, Sonera. That, that's cool. All right, so I think I think we'll... Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. <laughs> what are you doing? The shadow broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. Technically, he never surrendered. He just lost the fight. <laughs> Um, yeah, do I have an issue with this? Probably not. I don't know. Like, um, I don't, I don't, I don't know, like, the... Yeah, he was scum. Yeah, we have the, yeah, I mean, it's... If there was, like, a, like, like, a, um, an equivalent of, like, the Geneva Convention or something, say... Even if there was something like that in this world, and I don't know if there is, um, would that even apply to this? Because he was, you know, he's, he's not really a prisoner of war. Um, I, I don't think he, I really just don't see why he would have, yeah, he as in, you know, Vince here would really have a, have that much of a, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, you would want or wouldn't want? He probably did, I mean, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly, Dennis. Exactly. That's that's exactly why we brought him along. So yeah, I just don't I just don't see why we would really um have an issue. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that quarian. Now this oh yeah, okay. Hang on. It probably 
Oh, there is. There's a clock. Okay. Is that still going? 57. Okay. Because I was, I was really curious about where I get lost, isn't it? Um, yeah, because a lot of times in games, it's like, you have to hurry and do this, otherwise it's the end of the world. And then you do like a million different side quests and nothing's changed. But yeah, um, I will save, I'll save. Like one thing about this auto looting thing though, is that I don't know what I got from um, Fist. Because the only thing that's going to happen here is that I'm going to get lost and not know where to go and wait for these frickin' doors to open. Hostile spotted. I'm on it. This is cool though. So where are we going? Where are we going? Is this it? Pro probably not. Can you get your inventory more often? Can you not disable auto loot? I don't think so. No. Can you check fist again? F is melee attack. Oh, I keep forget. Yeah. Okay. Well, I have to go back there, Star. We're kind of on a on a budget of time. Like, I guess? Hang on. Clear. No, no, no. First get get off this. Here, I a in the <laughs> we don't have to lose someone before, so... I'm, I'm fatigued. This is where we don't listen to chat. Right. Oh, there you go. Freaking... Have we taken it? Man. That's the first time we've had to lose someone, right? <laughs> so yeah, you 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 were right, Snow. Got a general update for touching the laptop on the ground. Yeah, I got something. Yeah, Pumpinion. I think Planescape Torment did that really well. Because it just said chaos points gained or whatever, but didn't say like how many or whatever, and then eventually your your alignment would change if you got enough. So that was that was very yeah, very immersive. But then I think Planescape is probably one of the most immersive games ever. Um uh okay. Right, so codex. Okay. No, no, Codex. Journal. Get to the alley. Thank you. Thank you, for the alley. Okay. Indeed, Backer. The alley. Um, is it this? Is it this way? That's the alley, isn't it? That's it. Okay. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Joinable uh, character. Over there. Oh. <laughs> um. Oh, not good. Not good, not good, not good. I'm 
Permitted jill deployed. Regroup. Oh, not it close at all. Just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Yeah, I reckon she fits the one of the um silhouettes. Yeah, hi Rex. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, it's so good at blundering into situations, indeed. Yeah. Uh. Don't worry about Fist. He got what was coming to him. Then I guess there are two things I need to thank you for. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. Oh. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. Okay. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all out <laughs> assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many? Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Look at this ragtag group of, of like, just random people i've brought like who are any of these people dude <laughs> um udina you'd like him um oh yeah you can there's there's, there's eyes there yeah i i have lost my mouse cursor four different species yeah 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 Shut up and I'll tell you. I don't think I'll, you know. What am I doing with my arms? What am I doing? No They're just behind my back. Has entered your dungeon. Hey, Finberg, thank you very much for the follow. You are now one of the people. Yeah, they're just behind my back. They're, you know, I'm stood to attention, kind of. Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage, my rite of passage into adulthood. I'm gonna ask. Yeah, I'm gonna ask. You know, it's for me. <laughs> I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. She's a teenager. Um, this is probably where the similarity ends, but I'm going to I'm going to say it. You know, she 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 reminds me. Initially, like straight off of Anna Navarra from Deus Ex, because I guess she's quite robotic and has that kind of accent. But I mean, I'm sure that's all they have in common. But still, I'm like, I'm like, oh, it's Anna Navarra, but of course it isn't, you know. But um, because you you instantly like find patterns that you associate with something else, don't you? And um, but yeah, I'm sure she's lovely. Yes, I'm sure she's very nice. But. <laughs> Um, that's a good quote. I like that. Um, Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Veil. Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. 
Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. Hmm. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. Could it be a deep fake? I don't um, recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. Reapers, what a nice name. Yeah, it definitely yeah it has some connotations, doesn't it? <laughs> Calling things Reapers. You kind of want to... When I get a, a certain kind of impression by some calling something Reapers. Um. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. I don't... Yeah, I mean, it's it's interesting how, how I feel. I, I, my... Well, let's see. Yeah, I'm... Well... So my character's all about the... Um, chain of command. But I guess that's, like, in the military. But I guess... You know, we, we've seen what the council is like. Maybe we'll sort of, like, just, just kind of ask. Because we're not really sure. This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The captain's right. We need to present this to the council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Yep. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. Greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. <laughs> I didn't I didn't see you do anything in the alley. All I saw was Vince face tanking him. <laughs> yes. That's true. And it worked pretty well. It it was it, it, but I mean, yeah, we we almost died. That's why. Yeah, hard cut to party selection screen. Yeah, because I, I mean yeah, I noticed like right away. So yeah. So we've got to fight a rogue here. Tali. All right, okay, Ta Tali. <laughs> Let me see. She's a techie. Yeah. Tali and Rex, really? I mean, that's a good combo, I guess. How many of you rinsed, uh, romanced Talia? I did. After the thought, it was so damn selfish of me. Ooh. Well, we're all about the business. So who's, who are you? You look like the lady who was on reception. Um, or at least that kind of, that race. Hmm. Well. Alright, I'll bring you along for now. That race, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it was that character, but yeah. Um, like, do, well, I mean, you know, if we need, we need admin doing, I guess. You know, it could be, could be useful. 
You know, biotic strength, tech strength, combat strength, ad, ad, administrative. Yeah, I mean, it, it, you know, it could be, could be, you know, it could be useful. Never, never underestimate that paperwork and stuff. Keeping our files in order. Does our taxes exactly right? Yeah, exactly, and make sure we don't run out of fuel and ammo and all that kind of stuff, right? And food, yeah, supplies. Ah, uh, should we have Ashley back just for a while? We'll just see how we go. Is that it? Uh, right, because I, I just want to um, get into this menu again. Because you got four points. Hmm. She's, she's a shoulder. She's a shoulder as well. So it kind of. Uh, overlaps with mine that's that's kind of the thing you know we don't need two two soldiers so there's the overlap just in, just in the um in the gameplay right okay yeah because you, you can see a face in there Mercury, could be the, yeah we yeah we should do the codex thing oh my goodness made it in time <laughs> I suppose. um hello Dharma. How are you feeling? You know, you've been under the weather quite a bit. How are you feeling now? All right, so let's have a look at this. So you're, uh, uh, what is it? A, a mechanist? Machinist? <laughs> um, tech resistance, shield capacity. Okay. Thing is, what if, what if shields go down? That's the thing with, with, Relying on shields too much. I reckon there's a lot of anti-shield stuff in the game. In the level up menu. That's what I tried. Don't work. Ten points for you, though. Yeah. Because I guess, you know, she needs this to breathe. <laughs> so... I could take my helmet off, but I would die. Um, still too sick to speak very much. That sucks. Some meds can at least eat without coughing. Okay, eating's good. Yeah. Yeah, okay. On, on the mend, I hope. She's elite hacker. She always has protection. Okay. Yeah, well, you're, you're definitely going down... Down this route, aren't you? Um, oh, vehicle repair. Restores 800 extra hull during vehicle repair. Nice, good. And then decryption and, and hacking. Okay, so um, I do vaguely remember seeing some footage of this game, and yeah, there, there is some sort of kind of like multi. Now that I've, now that it's mentioned it, it's it's shot that that memory back. That there's some kind of multi-wheeled kind of truck thing, isn't there? That we get. Um, and I just remember it like just just being driven. Like I don't know much about it, but um, I wonder if we'll get when it gets the vehicle. Why the vehicle? So I do know that. Like I, I just because of this, I remembered that. Uh, we don't need to let you do it, but uh, it's famously quite controversial. Oh, okay, a controversial vehicle. Of all the things to be controversial about, a vehicle. Yeah, they're all about sort of all about the shields. So. Some sort of space car. I like space cars. The Rocket League, so. Um, alright, so. Hmm. Yeah, please help me through the hardships. Okay, please do that. 
Yeah, so I think electronics and decryption is kind of the, the, the thing for this character. Like, obviously, pistols is useful. Okay, <laughs> really? All right, interesting. All right. You didn't mind it? Okay. Get hacking early. Okay. Uh, the hacking here. Okay, so that's there. Oh, hacking, okay. Uh, temporarily drives basic robotic enemies berserk, so they will attack anything nearby, including their former allies. That's cool. For 20 seconds? That's quite... Most fights like last 20 seconds, so... Okay, I will take your advice. Well, I can't get it yet. Unless maybe I go to here. No, it's not going to let me. Um... We can stop other people from doing stuff. Yeah, that works. That works. That's fine. You love the vehicle? Hmm. The vehicle. Right. So I think I will... Have we started where we... Okay. Yeah, well, this is where we started the, the, the stream. So we'll, we'll end it here as well. But I will look at the... Um, massive amount of, of codex stuff that we've got as well. I think this is how the streams are going to go, is that towards the end, we'll just look up all of the codexes that we've got so we don't miss anything. Hello, Simon. Yeah, so it's, um, it's, just, it's just kind of... I, I feel that, that this is a good, like, stopping point because we've... That was like, yeah, a lore ending. It, it, well, I mean, I, we're not going to stop, stop, but... The Asari were the first species to discover the Citadel. It's lady. When the Salarians arrived, it was the Asari who proposed the establishment of the Citadel Council to maintain peace throughout the galaxy. Since then, the Asari have served as the mediators and centrists of the Council. 50 minutes more is also a good one. Okay. Race, the Asari reproduce through a form of parthenogenesis. They can attune their nervous system to that of another individual of any gender and of any species to reproduce. Oh. This capability has led to the unseemly and inaccurate rumors about Asari promiscuity. Asari can live for over a thousand years, passing through three stages of life. In the maiden stage, they wander restlessly, seeking new knowledge and experience. Experience. When the matron stage begins, they meld with interesting partners to produce their offspring. This ends when they reach the matriarch stage, where they assume the roles of leaders and counselors. Interesting. Space elves. <laughs> okay, all right, we'll play for a little bit more and then do the uh, law dump. What are we doing? That's not codex. Journal. Return to the tower. Is that what you mean? Okay. Should be aware the ambassador represents the quarant's evidence. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. Return to the tower. Okay, I mean, we could do a couple of little quests in between. I just don't want to fight Sauron. <laughs> we should definitely bring her along. Maybe not, maybe not Ashley, though. How do I pick the... How do I pick people? Wonderful. You can't. Okay. All right. Well, oh dear. Just the star missions. Right. Okay. We're stuck with these two then. Bye. <laughs> and by these two, I kind of mean Ashley. Well, we'll bring her along just to uh, kind of see how we, how we go. Hi, guys. Strained greeting, human. This is really not a good time. More quests. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari Consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. So this Asari Consort is definitely the final joinable character. 100%. Who's this Asari Consort? Curious, 
you have not yeah, we've already seen all I this before. Speak more about this problem. Good luck with your problem. Thanks to you, human. Nope. Oh, no, 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 Okay, fine. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? No. Okay, fine. Ladies, where are you? Fine, I'll be on my own. Fine. Uh. Do you wanna? Do you wanna? Do you wanna? Do you wanna? Do you wanna... Thanks, guy. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Yes. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. A lot of people want my help these days. What makes you special? Like, that's a little harsher than I expected. <laughs> she was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Whoops. Wait, Stay away from those. Your wife was serviceman Narali Bhatia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Oh, Chief Williams. It is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Bhatia. Nirali was a good woman. What can we do for you? I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Oh, expensive Thank bar. You for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Your wife died because of Ashley here? Ooh. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. Wow. Hi, Tally. How do you feel about that? So much empty space. A thousand of my people could live here and hardly even see each other. Oh. Expensive bar! Expensive bar! I don't think this was open before, was it? Or was it? Or is, or this, is this the expensive bar? The one that was over here that I... This one? Aha, uh -huh, okay. The one that you can't get a drink from, right? Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? I want to I wanna see where these drinks come from. What have you got? Information, mostly. Oh, come on. Would you like to know about some points of interest nearby? You're the worst barman ever. I mean, no. <laughs> Do your job and serve me a drink. <laughs> you know, I go into a bar, and uh, what have you got? Uh, information. Um, well, how about a beer? How about a... No? It's so weird. Goodbye. Well, that's because, that is because so long, he doesn't have any day. drinks. There are no drinks on this bar. There are no drinks in the bar. There are no drinks that can get to the bar. They don't, they don't come through the floor. They don't come via, you know, some hidden compartment behind the bar. They don't go, they don't drop from the roof. There are no drinks in this bar. Mass Effect 1 doesn't promote drinking. Just, just, just sleeping with aliens, right? <laughs> It is. This is, this is the worst bar ever. This is the worst bar I've seen in a video game. 100%. Because I think it's the first one that you literally kind of get a drink at. And no one's drinking. Like, there's these two here with one drink between them. You've got a, you've got a drink, okay. And, like, the drinks are really weird. The table service is terrible because that should have been cleaned away by now. And you're, yeah, okay, working on your huge laptop. That's rid ridiculous. Too expensive for us, I guess it. Uh, space My goodness, bar. You're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Stop stealing cops. <laughs> Stop stealing cops. <laughs> I'm here on behalf of Samesh Bhatia for his wife, Nirali. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime. 
as Mr. Batian no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. Wow. You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nurali Batia is not dangerous. Her body is, in fact, extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Right. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Ooh, that's, that's a bit oof. Wow. I mean, you can say it respectfully, but that's like saying, that's like saying, no offense, but you're a dickhead, right? It, 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 it doesn't work. Just because that you said it doesn't, no offense doesn't mean didn't offend, and that, that is massively disrespectful. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> How long do you think the research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. That's a long time. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. You've got to have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Okay. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. Yeah, you should tell him though, right? Because I think my character would be like, okay, if it serves the lives of people, then yeah, I think this prob they probably should keep the body, you know, as difficult as it is for the for the for the husband. I think for the for the greater good, my character would um use his head over his heart in this situation. And, you know, because he's been a soldier and everything and been in live combat, anything that can that can help um serve the lives of people would, would you know, probably be worth worth this. So But you should, uh, you should tell him, right? Maybe I should, well. I'll tell Samesh. Next time you come no, to the wanna... at least tell her husband the truth. Yeah, I mean. That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. <laughs> but if you think it will help, tell Mr. Batia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Oh, God. I just, right, I'm going to avoid the bottom ones because it's like. Like, you know, Samesh should hear this. Um, like I, I didn't, I didn't realize that that would involve like like choking the guy, <laughs> so or at least like physically threatening him. So I thought it would be like, um, hi Dante, thank you, for, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, you, you are now one of the people. You can always reload. I will only reload. Like you're right, I, I can. Um, I'll only reload if something happens in the game that I really did not intend. Um, because some of the di dialogue options that I've just kind of touched on are, are, are quite vague to what actually happens or what the character actually says. Um, yeah, they, I mean, but yeah, I mean, I thought that would lead to, you know, you should really tell this guy what you're doing <laughs> rather than you like basically threatening him. Um, but yeah, on, on the reloading thing, like I, I, I've, I can't say like I've never reloaded. I always think that there's, um, a... Um, I forgot what I was going to say, but pretty much it's actually a consequence, right? So, if something happens, I'm like, oh, you know, I meant to do that, but I didn't know that was going to happen, I won't reload. But if I select something intending to do something, but something else happens because of a misconstrued, like, understanding of how the game works, then I probably will reload. Um, in this case, so, so that's, like, my kind of thought process on on reloading there are mods for this oh so mods you know, there's a mod that shows a text yeah why 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 not do that sure that's like less effort than what they have done which is right one dialogue you know one set of dialogue for the response and then one set of dialogue for what she actually says just make it the same thing <laughs> hello commander has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? All right, I've already done that. Um, there's a problem. It's not as simple as I'd hoped. The military needs your wife's body for important tests. 
tests? Maybe, Naramaya. Yeah. my wife's body for tests? Maybe. My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. So I have to do this. I have to do this, you know. Like, I can't... I could just quit out, but oof, man, okay. See, this is, this is where charm would be good, right? This is charm. This is where I would definitely would say, look, this is for the importance of the whole, you know, it's got wider implications and that kind of thing. And I would explain it um, to him properly. Like, I suppose I could wait until I level up, come back, and then tell him it's important. I know, but I think that's that's not... I guess it is charming. Um, but, you know, I... I yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to... It's unacceptable. I'll let you know what I can do. I'm just going to... I'm just going to wait... Please let me know what can be done. Yeah, I'm just going to wait until I can get some points in charm and then tell him nicely because, like, I... Uh, yeah, I turn her, indeed. Um, I kind of like now, though, can I? I haven't leveled up yet, have I? Um, uh, oh, have I? No. <laughs> um, and, oh my god, we're so close, though. All right, so we'll do, like, one side quest, come back, and then suddenly I'll be more charming. And then I can tell him because yeah, I think I think I want the option of these dialogue options. Uh, I just want to um, steal Ash's points. Can I do that? Um, because in that situation, I think my character would like have the capacity to present that information to him, rather than this is war and this is how it needs to be and, and you know, tough. Um, I think he would be very sympathetic about it, but be able to get the point across. So if that's charm, then fine. Have a drink in the non-bar and you'll be more charming. Always works for me. Okay, so let's... Maybe do something quite minor then. Um, like... Because we do have quite a few little things to do. Like the... Um, this guy. He's worried about this dude. Lower markets. Okay. Yeah, because he's worried about... Yeah, he's worried about his co-worker trying to kill him, which is probably all a misunderstanding, but if this gets us um, 150 XP, then cool. Points for the jellyfish. Yeah, I'm not sure about that either. I, I need the charm thing as well. The re reported quest is easier. Oh, okay. Oh, because I've done it. And she's right here, isn't she? Oh, yeah, I've got that. Yeah, okay. That's what I picked up. Right. And she was, like... There? No? Where is she? It all looks the same! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I did. I did. I went back to get it. Thanks to Snarl. Alright, where is she? Right, make a decision. I don't want to. Oh, is she out here? That's the dispute with the with the. Uh... Yeah, it's just okay. Maybe not. Maybe not here then. It's another map in the wards. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah, finding my way around is... Oh, no, 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 no. I, I keep pressing shift to run. <laughs> you have a quick travel? Uh, yeah, I do. I do. Yeah, to be honest with you. Who's that? Um. I'm flying the car there. There it is. There she is. Okay. Okay, it doesn't look all at the same. There is subtle differences in the lighting and the and the music's different, so yeah, there she is. Okay.
I swapped space for shift. Yeah. So I'm running shift and space is paused like it should be on PC. Yeah, I think I might do that. Yeah. No flying cow, sadly. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. Ooh, no. Pleasure doing business with you. Thank you, Commander. I'll certainly let you know if Two I find out anything that helps you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. They're blank, lol. Oh, uh, 120. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. 122. <laughs> Frickin' goddammit. Alright, I need 30 more. This disc's not safe for work. Yeah, it sounds like it. Um. Alright, so. Yeah, so this is the dude. All right. So there's the there's the markets. Okay, so this is this is the guy I was I was looking at before. So we just go this way. Look over here. Don't think I've been here before, though, have I? Examining stuff. Yes. Uh. Nothing going on there. Yeah, you can get it just by looking out the window. Have a chance it. You bought this here. I don't sell this model. Look, I know it was you. I remember your face. Really, that's impressive. Usually, you humans can't tell one Turian from another. Oh. This is the place. Now, are you gonna give me a refund or not? Do you have your proof of purchase? What? No, no. I, I, I don't think you ever gave me one. I'm sorry, then. I can't help you. But what would you... Can't help you. I see. Best place on this ward to buy upgrades. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? What colonies are you talking about? Oh, my mistake, Earth Clan. I assumed it doesn't matter. Pharos? Novaria? Well, if you haven't heard of them yet, I'm <laughs> sure you will soon. But it doesn't matter where you hail from. My goods are available to all. Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Um Ooh, yeah, things and stuff that I can't afford. Buy that. Um, what have we got to sell? Oh yeah, I got these pistols. Yeah, one one might be good on. Um, well, none of the characters we have. I'll get rid of this. I think. I think I'll keep these two for now because they're level two. Oh god, it's an adoring fan, isn't it? You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. It's the Grand Champion! Do I know you? Uh, no. Oh, no, it I'm is. just a fan. <laughs> One of your biggest fans, actually. I don't wanna... My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. Oh. I don't have time for this, Conrad. I'm not here to be a role model. Oh, I kind of am, but... Oh, I see how it is. Commander Shepard doesn't have time for the little people. Far be it for me to get in your way. Yeah, don't... Be a hero. 
Don't meet your, uh, your heroes, guys. Don't meet your heroes. Yep. <laughs> right. You said that with a gun. Hmm, that's curious. Yeah, I, I need to I need to sort of like realize that the uh the bottom bottom right replies are really, really jerky. Should've saved. Right there. Criminal scum. Just throw me the data and you can walk away. I said I'd never pick this, but whenever I go into my head. Drop your weapons now. I don't think so, human. Oh dear. I'll ask you one more time. Give me the data, and you and Jalid will live to see another day. I'm not even looking at him. <laughs> I seem to be distracted by something like down there. Must be a bug or something. I mean, there's three guns against one dude. What are you gonna do? You're obviously gonna lose this. We're not here to kill him, though. There's no need to let things get out of hand. Fine. Have it your way, boys. Oh. Oh, I see. That's why he was so confident. What the devil? Level up. I give up. I give up. Please don't kill me. What's so important about this data? Why are you trying to get it? I thought you knew. He said you were going to deliver it. Ooh. And what exactly was I supposed to be delivering? It's the initial data from scanning the keepers. You see, we stole some research from our work to make the scanners. We were supposed to work together. I get the data, he analyzes it. Oh, that's a guy from before, right? Okay. I have no idea what's going on. What's so special about that? The keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. Never saw this variant of the quest? I guess because you may, may have spoken to this dude before you spoke to the other dude? Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jalid's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. What? I see. <laughs> so you're just trying to get back what Jalid already stole. We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. But it doesn't matter now. I just want to live. I don't care if I ever see that data again. So how do you gather data on the keepers? It's not difficult, really. Just get within range and scan them. <laughs> you seem interested. Enough to help me, perhaps? I don't... My character wouldn't be interested in this, though. I agree to send the keepers. He's way more friendly. Yeah, I mean, the fact that we're having this conversation, you know, after, after you tried to shoot our head off, is kind of interesting. You know, we're all just like, calm down now. It's like, oh, okay, well, do you want to do the side quest for me then? No! I suggest you stick to research and leave the espionage to the rest of us. Well, I won't. Or I, I will. Stick to research, that is. Thank you. Goodbye. We leveled up. What about Jalid? Time for a chat. Let's go have a talk with our chubby friend. Oh, there's no need, no need for that, though, is there? There's no need for that. No need for that. Um, I keep pressing tab, which does do something sometimes. Uh, um, uh, uh, squad. Uh, right, let's go and talk to that dude again. <laughs> um, yeah, and I think unlocking first aid will be quite good for us. Yeah. 
everyone just just forget about this. this is a very very empty market and also yeah and and, and no one cares about the firefight that was that was just there someone could have been killed right hello there welcome to moreland's famous shop you want many good supplies yes let me see what you have yeah let's go shopping oh you will be pleased i think very good things i have you will see oh, okay oh so he's got non-human armors Okay, so we don't have anything new there. Oh, I can afford that. It's um, not as... It's got more shields. But nah, I don't think it's worth it. All my humans made out... <laughs> All my armor's made out of humans. <laughs> Grenade upgrade, okay. Yeah, I've already, I've already got one now, and then there's this one. Increase the maximum units of mini gel by one. Yeah, we'll buy all this stuff. This seems really good, and that seems like a really good basis for starting things. Hello there, welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies? Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Okay, pricey. So. I guess we'll be coming back. But just as a... Uh, we compare this... Oh, I can't. Because it's not in our party. Okay. Yeah, it would. Would sell, yeah. It would. Um... So that guy wouldn't be far Sanctus away, would it? Away. Okay, thanks. Um, yeah, I'm looking for the academy. Yeah, which is just over there. Is it the academy? Is it? I think it is where that dude is. No, it was. Yeah, it is. It is. Sorry, right, I just. Yeah. Let's have a word with this dude. Oh, also, yeah, hello there. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. Solarian, Canadian, whatever. <laughs> Interesting how you can't change your uh, your 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 squad. I guess when we get a ship, that'll be easier. When it kind of opens up a bit more. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I found out you've been lying to me, Jalid. Lying? Why would I lie to you? What about the keeper data? Uh, he told you. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. Yeah. Law and order. I can't let this continue any further. I'm reporting what you did. But I can't. What will happen to the data when I'm gone? Who will carry on our research? It's a shame, but you should have considered the consequences before you acted. But this data could be used to unravel all the secrets of the Keepers. Think what we could learn about the Citadel. Tell me more about this data. Well, it's still very preliminary, but our initial scans suggest the Keepers are as old as the Citadel itself. We might learn how the Citadel was built, or why the Keepers always rearrange things. The possibilities are limitless. Well, uh, I, 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 I don't, I'm sorry, dude. I. I, um, 
Too bad I'm afraid. <laughs> Too bad I'm afraid. <laughs> Ain't gonna happen. I can't let your actions go unpunished. No, please. I'll do anything. I've got credits. Let me go and you can have them. All of them. What's going on over here? Is this Volus causing you some trouble, Commander? He's admitted to stealing data from his workplace. Really? I think you'd better come with me. But, uh... I'll take it from here, Commander. Thanks for your help. But the data! You don't know what you've done! It's your fault, dude. Alright, save it for your lawyer. It's completely your fault. <laughs> like a retire their board? Yeah, probably. Like, if he'd have done things, like, properly... Um... So that's one of those quests that you run into, into the start of the game, at the, the end of the game, are really important. Ah, oh, if we had this information, then this situation would be, would be so much easier. But we don't have that information because you put him, you know, you sent him to jail. So, oh well, you'll have to fight seven million enemies rather than three. That kind of thing. Uh, run over, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how it's going to go, right? Quarians aren't too popular with Citadel security. They think we're all beggars and thieves. CSEC seems more like a military operation than a police force. If I send you an email, Mass Effect 2, that'd be cool. You'll have to remind me, though. You do Renegade, Renegade or Paragon. I mean, I don't... I'm I'm playing my character, Sundog. I don't, I don't really know... Yes, is the answer. I've heard some humans are angry at the Quarians after the attack on Eden Prime. After all, you created... But how you doing, Sir Luck? The Geth killed billions and forced us from our homeworld. Most Quarians believe we have paid properly for our mistake. Hopefully, having you with us fighting Saren will change people's minds. Oh. First playthrough of the natural RP one. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Paragade. I mean, currently... Both? <laughs> yeah, I hope so. I hope so. I mean, it's, it's kind of nice to see. Right, let's do the main... Oh, wait, no, we got to go. Okay. Um... How is it? How are you doing? Happy birthday for uh was it yesterday, the day before? The day before. How are you doing? Okay, that's where the combat was. Paragade, yeah. That's what it is. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Ooh. Okay. So how are you liking your posting at the academy? It's good. Busy, though. I can't believe how many people you get coming in from the wards. Yeah, it's the busiest station on the Citadel. You'll never get bored. I guess Welcome not. back, Nerma. We could still use a few more men. That's why we brought you here. Sure, but there's still way more complaints than the officers can handle. That's just life near the wards, kid. You'll get used to it. Nothing wrong with Renegade. Both have interesting moments if you don't judge streamers. No, I don't, I, don't, I don't get judged. I judge you guys, right? That's how it works here. I judge chat. You do not judge me. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a court where I'm going. <laughs> that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. 
The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. That's a good look, Chuck. How, how, how do I judge you? Well, um, um, fair, fair to middling. Judging anyone for a game choice, it's a, it's a game. There is no wrong choice. Yeah. Okay, we're back up here. Is this where I need to be? <laughs> Uh, he was by the embassies, wasn't he? The Indian guy? Don't remember his name. So hopefully I... I, I, I um... I can, um... Tell him nicely about his wife's body now. Damn trees and their leaves everywhere. Ugh. Yeah, there he is. Let's see. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. I've Boston? suddenly learned some Will people's skills. Body? It's not as simple as I'd hoped. Hopefully. The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Yes, you told me as much. I don't care what the military wants. Yes, yeah, so I know we've done this My before. My wife finished her service when she gave her life on Eden Prime. It is time for her to come home. Yay. Mr. Bacha, your wife died defending humanity. We still need her help. What right does the military have to hold her body? She's already given her life. Um... Yeah, I don't like this one. What do, what would she want? Because I don't know that. You know, he may be like, well, she explicitly requested that she would be buried. <laughs> so I don't think I want to go into this kind of unknown kind of way. So I'll 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 go like logic. She died a hero, Mister Batya, and now she has a chance to save even more lives. It doesn't matter. She's dead. Yes, she is, Mister Batya. She died fighting for what she believed in. She sacrificed her life to keep you safe. Yeah, you would know. I think she'd want to make the most of that sacrifice. You're right, Miss Williams. She would not flinch from her duty. Let them run their tests. Let my wife save lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. Goodbye. Thank you for finding me answers. You're welcome. Paragon plus eight. There you go, you see. You know, because it's her fault. She would know because she knew the dead lady. So, that's what I meant. Wow. Alright, return to the tower. You know what? I, 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 I moan about the... Um, little arrow you got to follow, but I would love a little freaking arrow to follow. I'd love it. All right, towers over there. Okay. Oh yeah, we can maybe um, talk to the the floaty fish thing as well. This indeed blow that Ash called her squadmates to die. I mean, she did. You know, when we first met her, we weren't very impressed with her because she, um, um, you know, she was running away, <laughs> basically. Um, You need to get some uh, some some kind of. I mean, look, who who does the gardening, right? It's very nice. All right, let, let's have a go at this. I, I don't really know um, how to how to approach this. Do you desire to learn of the Inkindlers? You should be arrested. Or has the honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Is this really how you want to represent the Inkindlers? The truth of the Inkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language, and gave the universe the mass relays. 
This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Yeah, 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 sick out. I mean, there is trouble anyway, but I can't. I don't think I can say it. No. I don't want to buy him a permit either. I'll be back. This one will continue. Any progress with that Hanar? Arrest him. Like, I can't say arrest him, right? Let him talk. Leave it alone. Or no. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'll let you know if I come up with something. But I mean, the, the, the resolution of this quest is to arrest it. It's hammer. breaking the law. Arrest it. That's how that goes. Hang on, that's not where I want to be. I think I think it was there once, Simon, but I can't I haven't found it since. Which one though? Like who to? Alright, sure, sure. Do you desire to learn Silence? Of the no. Or has the honorable oh, God, I pressed something. enlisted assistance? What's going on here? God's sake. Let officer. me talk to the oh. C-Sec Okay, wait, 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 okay. I, I shouldn't rush it. For the okay, right. Please let this one know if success is achieved. Oh, God. Any progress with that Hanar? No. Okay. Sorry, I'll let you know if I come up. I don't care what the something is. As long as... Right. Has the C-Sec officer been assuaged? You're breaking the law, criminal scum. The CSEC officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. Yeah, and then we get back to this. This one is too humble to suggest. This one only wishes to spread yeah, the so... truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. I'll be back. This one will continue to spread its message. Not that button. Not that, not that button. Because his boss doesn't want. Oh, uh, okay. Ah, uh, all right, here in. Uh, sorry, Athena. Okay. Well, we'll come back to that one. Uh, where am I going? Um. Yeah, that's a tower. Yeah. Okay. I'm quite. Uh, I will not. I will not. I will not shoot it. I will not. No chats, guys. Enjoy the look on the council's face when they see evidence they can't just ignore. If the evidence is worth trying to kill me for, I hope it is sufficient to motivate the council. Okay. I'm still calling out that there's no this this side this this floor would be very slippery. Very slippery floor. With all this, all this water mist. Maybe, but I wouldn't believe everything you hear. That's just it. I'm hearing it everywhere. It's not just isolated rumors. Do you really think Saren could be involved in something like that without the council knowing? Maybe the council does know. Everyone already assumes he's just doing their dirty work. That's dangerous talk. I'd be careful who you mention that to. I know. But if it's true, shouldn't we be doing something about it? No. And I'll thank you to keep me out of it if you do. Mm, are they, there he is again. Okay. Non-slip shoes for everyone. Everyone just happens to be wearing them. Um, oh, we're saving. We're so saving. Mr. An uh, sorry, Captain Anderson. Captain Anderson. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Hi, Rusty. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. Mm. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. I'm really not sure whether this would count as evidence, though. I mean, a good lawyer would, <laughs> would really get Saren off the hook pretty easily by saying, well, I mean, many people can sound similar to each other. And of course, 
yeah, we have we have the ability now to uh, to generate defake um, little content. So I'm sure that exists in this universe as well. If you've got freaking spaceships, um, so I really don't <laughs> don't 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 see this as you know. If it was like a they decide and some not some silly lawyer. True enough, I know, right? But it's like yeah, it must be him then because we heard like three three seconds of dialogue, so it must be him. So yeah, I mean, I mean obviously it's good, right? But um. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure whether in a court of law that would that would really get someone convicted. Um, Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of Oh, we lives. know this. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benizia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. Mm. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. Oh, it's a little was a bit hasty. It does seem a little bit hasty, yeah. It does seem a little bit flimsy. You know, like, if they were going to put evidence on there, I think they could have probably done a better job, like some video recording or something like that, you know? Rather than just an audio log. Like, you get what they're saying with the fragmented piece of core um, that they found, um, or that was found, but, yeah, um, I still think that's just a little bit, you know... There's no way he can be uh, guilty to... Uh, he's completely guilty in, in the space of, of, like, three seconds of voice recording, right? Um... Uh, the Reapers are an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans, and that's why he's bringing them back, yeah. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods. Geth cops, yeah. Is the prophet yeah. Return. yeah, yeah. We think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's not true that's enough. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. Hmm. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. We're getting quite pissed off at these guys, yeah. <laughs> there's no way you can be wrong, uh, right about this thing. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, you were right about that. Well, there's no way you could be right about this sort of thing, then. You know? <laughs> yeah, it is logical. Um, yeah, I've seen them in my... Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. Like, these are all just like... I mean, I've seen them in a vision. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's right. Um, can't even stand are you wrong. You know, I mean... They, they, they could be, but, you know... I guess I guess this is all we've got to go on now. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent. I didn't mention nothing about life. seeing them. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in. A fleet cannot track down one man. A citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Now that... I like how we've got a big personal stake in this. It's kind of cool. I wonder whether the... Um... 
the vision we have was just that or if it's like gonna alter us in some way because normally when something that, hap that like that happens in a video game it like binds you somehow with what's happening now you, you now have this special power or you know or, or this kind of thing that, that sort of like gives you like a tangible um you know connection with what's happening that doesn't seem to have happened at least not yet in this case um just seems to be that yeah we, we saw this vision and it gives us a little more insight about what's going on but apart from that that's that's kind of it um but i will i will volunteer because um that's just kind of my character you know you're a space prophet no it's true enough that's no, yeah the game didn't even recognize your bionics well it's it's because you're you're not a war hero I can take Saren down. Yeah. The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. I faced Saren on Eden Prime and exposed him for a traitor. I've proven myself. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Ooh, there we go. Space Bond license to blast. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Achievements! I thought the ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. Now maybe being a level 1 Spectre makes more sense than being a level 1 War Hero. It does. Yeah, yeah, like like I you know said at the start, we've got all this background and all this history and we're level 1. But yeah, yeah, now we're sort of like starting again. Um... That makes sense. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Commander. Uh, that is that is that is special, Commander Spectre, Commander there to you. Spectre training talent unlocked. What is that in here? Ooh, Spectre training. Oh yeah, and then we get more of this. Okay. The agents of the council, the Spectres have access to special training abilities elsewhere in the galaxy. Increases health, accuracy, effectiveness, and all attacks and powers. All damage duration of all powers and attacks by 1%. Over 5, 2, okay. Small gains. <laughs> and here we get Unity. Restores dead squad members. Okay, so, so your, first, your first real kind of bonus, right, as a Spectre is be able to raise the dead. I mean, that that's quite a... All right, what's next? 
All right, so first thing, Ray's dead, right? Next thing, restores... Okay, so you get shields and then... Okay, all right, so you just get more shields. Yeah, so you just... just yeah, just raise... Raise the dead. Scroll the revivify, yeah. Oh, 2% score discount is going to make all the difference, isn't it? Oh, see, and there we go. Yeah, sell items. Oh, sell items for more than... That's cool. Right, so, yeah, because a lot of the times, if you're a bad guy... You know, it, 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 there's there's few kind of, like, like pluses. But, yeah, you can sell items for 2% more. Like, we'll give you more for what you sell. That's kind of cool. So doing both means that you get to sell and buy more efficiently you just shout and insult them until their soul returns out of fear yes okay that's nice right i'm gonna call it there i'm very um quite tired and and, and pretty hungry i know we haven't looked at the uh the codexes but uh yeah i'm 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 gonna i'm gonna call it there it's been a, been a long stream, actually, you know, for me. You've got more than your money's worth today. Good job, becoming Inspector. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's... Uh... Oh, there you are, guys. Um, okay, um, if you're watching... The bot, I very much appreciate it and hope to see you soon.